हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज योर फेवरेट मुर्तद लाइव वंस अगेन एंड टुडे वी हैव ए वेरी डियर ब्रदर ऑफ आवर्स यू मस्ट हैव सीन हिम इन लाइव चैट्स यू मस्ट हैव सीन हिम इन मल्टीपल अदर लोकेशंस ही वाज वंस अ मुस्लिम जस्ट लाइक मी ही वाज वंस अ मुस्लिम जस्ट लाइक मी एंड देन he left islam and he became a follower of our lord jesus christ because he is the one who is the truth and the life and the light let me welcome our brother umut to the live stream and umut actually means hope so basically we have hope that muslim means can see the truth and the light and the life welcome brother umud thank you thank you thank you adam thank you very much brother peace of christ be with you and with everyone in the live stream right now we have debit bran uh, zack apostate ras chloe zack and a lot of other people uh, av ev and everyone ct welcome everyone welcome may the lord jesus christ be with you each and every one of you god bless you all share the video <clears throat> today we are going to go into how our brother umud found jesus and i am j e c i have no idea how to pronounce his last name and uh, sorry about that i am j ja i think i think that's how i could pronounce it so so brother umud how was your day so far brother uh, the day was so far good thank you thank you brother everything is fine uh, thanks to jesus christ and also i would like to say hello to everyone who is listening and watching us at the moment uh, especially my aki david so uh, god bless all everyone uh, who is watching us at the moment thank you thank you brother umud light of all nation welcome brother light of all nation over here god bless you and light of all nation if i'm not mistaken has a channel as well light of all yes. nation please share your channel over here as well and proclaim your channel god bless you light of all nation hey he cannot share the channel unless he's a mod Okay, brother, light of all nation, you are a mod. Share your channel. Okay, brother Umud. So tell us to begin into. Let's a deep dive into our uh, conversation. You were born in a Muslim family, correct? Yes, correct, correct, brother. So tell us something. How was your brought up, and how your father and mother actually taught you islam and what was happening how you lived your life to begin with um well i was born in turkey to a muslim family and uh, i grew up as a muslim uh, my father is uh, half turkish half kuwaiti so uh, and wow. my mother is yeah my mother is turkish so uh, obviously it's uh, it was a strict uh, muslim family but uh, thank god it wasn't so uh, strict muslim family we were like secular muslim i can say and uh, when i actually was a young boy uh, i had to go to uh, imam hatib uh, classes in turkey which uh, my brother and my sister also went to this and most of the turks um, when they like uh, when they have kids they send the kids to imam hatib and where you, you they learn uh, quran so i was also age of 9 or 10 i went to this uh, imam hatibs with my brother and with my sister and yeah, this is the first time i met with islam uh, obviously when you're a young boy you have no idea what you read in what you actually uh, been uh, studied brother let me let me let me cut you short over here because mm -hmm. no um, i don't think a lot of people knows what imam hatib is mm -hmm. please for the sake of the knowledge of the muslim you know, and the christians over here please tell them what is imam hatib i know it's a very big yes please uh, 
And Zach, it's, it's, it's a very big uh, topic to explain, but if I cut it shortly, so you actually go and uh, they teach you uh, Quran and uh, you recite in the Quran and you uh, make in Hatim. And uh, after you do your Hatim, then, you know, you're, uh, you get in uh, Islamic teachings. So basically it's just like uh, they preparing you from the, from the child. Uh, they basically brainwashing you from that young of age and if you cannot even recite the Quran if you don't learn as quick as possible that uh, your teachers expecting you uh, you get also beaten up which uh, I, I, I have witnessed uh, many times uh, these teachers has a stick on their hands and uh, they just hitting your hands hitting your face if you can not learn quicker than uh, expected Brother, you just said that your family was a secular family. I don't call this kind of a family a secular family, quite frankly, FYI. Yes. So, yes. so this yes. is not a secular Islam. So when somebody's parents are sending their kid to mm -hmm. Imam Hatib, a Muslim school or Madrissa, that's how we translate these kind of schools in, in our country. Correct. Uh, this and, and by the way, you were a bad, bad student, basically. I just <laughs> got beaten only twice in my life by the, by the Imam. You said many times. <laughs> it's actually me, not me personally. Also, the others uh, that uh, were in the class with me, and um, yes, my family was secular because uh, they didn't really uh, force me to go, but they felt forced me to go because of the neighbors and others, because it was like shame on you. Your kid doesn't go to Imam Hatib, for example. So they were kind of like uh, they were also kind of had to sent us me and my brother and my sister you know what i mean brother mm -hmm. so it's yes, like no. oh what this others is a would say. social pressure of exactly. muslim countries uh, which exactly. our westerners do not comprehend and understand so let me just exactly. uh, put some light on it as well mm -hmm. that in a muslim countries uh, the social pressure is extreme social pressure like yeah. even if you do not want to follow certain rituals you will be proclaimed wrong openly in the streets when you are walking talking to somebody in the street your neighbors they will proclaim it openly and they will they will use derogatory terms in front of others so that you will get into that pressure and do those ritualistic things and this is very standard this is very standard fyi Exactly. Like, for example, my sister didn't have a hijab and our neighbors were talking bad about her. Like, why doesn't she cover her hair, for example? So, you know, this kind of social pressure. So you're right, bro. Yeah, I'm, I'm just explaining it to our audience, please, brother, because yes. I know you know that I was just explaining it to our audience. Mm -hmm. I understand. But thank you, brother, because, you know, I also need your help because uh, my English is also not perfect. So I would need your help for this kind of explanations. Uh, please, brother, your English is pretty good. You are you are <laughs> no. pretty good. You are doing well, very well. Thank you, thank you, brother. Thank you very much. So, uh, and then we just attended to Imam Khatibs, and uh, we had uh, religion uh, uh, lessons in school. So we learned obviously more and more. And um, what we learn in school is like. Uh, they talk about other religions as well, but uh, of course, Islam is the best and uh, Prophet Muhammad is the best. So like uh, from the little uh, young of age, they, they constantly brainwashing you. And we were actually like, uh, I had problem with uh, Jews. I had problem with uh, Christians. And, you know, I always see them as uh, dirty people. Uh, I, I, I actually witnessed with my own ears that uh, our teacher was telling us, uh, wash your hands, don't be like Christians. Like, you know what I mean? So you probably know also in Pakistan, I'm sure it's same. And it's very like how funny this Pakistan and Turkey is supposed to be brother countries and we both uh, Christians. So so just i hope this will encourage also uh, muslims uh, who is pakistani or turkish and uh, we can still be brothers brother countries uh, without islam you know like pakistanis for example watching this turkish series about uh, the british Erdogan rule and you know other ottoman movies and they're getting brainwashed 
Uh, but we don't need this. I mean, you don't need to be a brother with someone uh, if the na nation is close to you. So we can all be brothers no matter what, if you're black, white, brown, or Asian, whatever you are. So uh, I think this is the umbrella of the Jesus Christ. And that's why we can all come together under his roof, under his umbrella, which uh, I find it very nice, to be honest. Praise Lord. But right now, the Muslim in Ummah is together Yes, and right exactly. now the Muslim Umrah is together because <clears throat> they are all Muslim. So Pakistan and Turkey has good ties because they are all Muslims. Yes. And yes, uh, most of the most of the uh, series, uh, like uh, the these two series is that you name are Artogul and the other one. Uh, uh, Drilish something like that i cannot also like i don't watch this kind of yeah they, they, they brainwash translated it into urdu as well they have, they have translated it into urdu as well and they have been watched in pakistan like anything you know unbelievable it's just brainwashing but i mean i look i'm turkish and you know i don't even watch this kind of uh, films or tv series because they are constantly brainwashing people so i'm not really fond of this by the way the second one i like more because you know what they have showed in the second series, uh, I forgot the name of that, hold on, let me just check. It is, <clears throat> so in that series, they actually showed that when the Muslim Ummah actually occupied uh, those areas, they, Mera Sultan, Mera Sultan, they mm -hmm. showed that they had uh, captive of war, children, uh, Christian girls in the Hatim, and uh, they were sex slaves. Like they showed that in the TV series and a lot of Pakistanis were so mad at that. <laughs> that why are they doing that? They are showing the, they're showing worst. Uh, uh, Islam is not like that. Islam does yeah. not preach that. But Islam does preach that and it's, they are showing exactly what they did. So exactly. uh, one of the women in there that showed was a daughter of a Christian priest. And uh, she was taken as a Malakat al -Imin in the Haram and mm -hmm. uh, the king was uh, having the ding dong with her uh, <laughs> uh, without marriage so that's that's what they showed and people in Pakistan were crying out loud it is so wrong and etc etc but this yeah. is all Islamic exactly because I'm also not sure if Pakistan is reading the Quran properly because I see so many like Pakistani guys they are joining uh, the live chat and they don't even speak Arabic and they are trying to defend. I mean, look, for example, Rob Christian and CP, they are all Arabic speakers and they, they know Arabic and they try if they defend Islam let's say, or any Arabic speaker, I can still understand I can say, okay, this guy he, he read the Quran in his language. Okay, he doesn't believe in this. He doesn't believe. He, he thinks the Islam is correct. Islam is the truth. That's his opinion. So I will leave him to the side. I will not bother with him. But the ones like Turks, Pakistanis, I mean, yes, we, we have also Arabic words in our languages, uh, like you have, Turks have. But still, that doesn't mean that uh, the, you can read Quran in Arabic and understand because uh, the Arabic Quran is completely different anyway. Exactly, exactly. So, so brother, so now you are in Hatim. Let's mm -hmm. go back to our testimony. You are in Hatim, mm -hmm. you are studying Quran and Ahadith and the Tafsi and the recitation of Quran. Yes. What's happening next? Yeah, what happens next? And you know, bro, it's a very strange thing happened to me. Uh, I was I was a young boy and I had a dream. And uh, in my dream, there was a girl. She was smiling at me. And when I asked her who she is, where she she's from, and she said to me, "I am from X country." And and she smiled and she left. And I got up. Obviously, I was still in Turkey. And I got up and, you know, I said, okay, what a stupid dream is this? And uh, I'm in Turkey, middle of nowhere, uh, how on earth I'm going to meet this woman from this country, etc. And uh, I was like, it's, it's just a silly dream, you know? And then I grew up. I was, yes, I wasn't going to mosque often. I wasn't, I was just going to mosque uh, on Fridays because... 
as you know, if you miss uh, Juma three times in a row, then you know you're out of Islam. So I was always like uh, giving myself two weeks time, and then on the third week, I was attending the Juma. Uh, Juma so <laughs> <laughs> Friday prayer. So We're only following <laughs> one hadith because the other hadith says that if you miss miss one Juma, Muhammad said, uh -huh. I I f I I would like to burn their house. Uh, yeah. If you miss a Juma prayer. If you miss a Juma prayer, uh, Muhammad wanted to burn the house of the person who would miss a Juma prayer. So at least you were not missing three in a straight. <laughs> so you were remaining a Muslim. Exactly, but you know, uh, you know, brother, this like I, I really like proper hadith and everything, Quran. I learned this religion that I was following from Christians, like from CP, from Rob Christian, from you, you know what I mean. So like, uh, as you know, when you were Muslim also, I, I don't know if you knew a lot of, uh, like if you had a lot of knowledge about Quran, but in, for as a Turkish, I can say that even the even the ones uh, call themselves Imam or Mufti in, in Turkey, they don't even speak uh, proper Arabic. So uh, obviously we didn't know anything about this hadith and everything. But uh, we always have this pink hadith, you know, like Muhammad uh, stood up when there was a Jewish uh, person's body was going in after he passed away. And his sahaba said, why do you get up, uh, a, a, a Nabi? And he said, yeah, it doesn't matter if he's Jew or not, if he's Muslim or not, he's still a human being. So he showed his respect. I don't know if this hadith exists anyway. So it's just like old wife tellings that they, they were brainwashing people with pink lies or pink hadiths, but they always hide in the in the, the, the dark hadiths. So, uh, and anyway, so I was just attending uh, the Jumaat some time to time, and uh, I didn't fast uh, a lot in my life. Uh, I did do some fasting, but it was too hard for me to do it, to be honest, because I need to smoke and uh, and <laughs> I love my tea as a Turkish man, so that's why it was really hard for me all the time. Uh, I mean, I don't want people who is listening to me now who is Muslim. Uh, he wasn't Muslim anyway. I can recite Quran for them if they really uh, want me. And uh, but you know, it's just uh, I couldn't really do, do fasting a lot, but I was still trying to do my fasting. I was giving zakat. Uh, you know, I was trying to be good Muslim without uh, reading, without learning, because whenever you ask something, they say, hey, Allah knows the best. Don't even question, don't even have a doubt. So you were like, okay, you know, you just carry on living your life normal. So this is what I did. And uh, just I was just trying to be Muslim, but obviously I never had any, like I really never fully practiced Islam. Uh, According to my dream, just put it on the side. I will come to it afterwards. Uh, yeah, I how, was thinking on that. <laughs> yes, you you probably thought why you know why this yeah, dream. Yeah, I, I like why this dream, and then you changed it. Fair enough. Exactly. Please carry on. Yes, because I will come to this dream, and like uh, how amazingly the God works for us. So basically, He's telling us, He's showing us something which we uh, don't even know what it means. But after a few years later, then we realize uh, actually what God meant for us. So, um, yeah, and uh, then I grew up, my life started to change a little bit. I changed countries. Uh, recently, I moved to Europe. And in in the end, uh, I moved to a country where I currently live. And after start settling my life and start working, I met a girl. Uh, which, you know, I felt straight away something in my heart. And we were in relationship for years, and then we both decided to get married. And after that, um, one night I had exactly dream, you know, exactly dream that I was talking about. She came to my dream, and she smiled again, and she said, where is she from? And then I got up, and I suddenly remembered this dream when I was a young boy. And then I realized... This girl, who is telling me where she's from, let's say from uh, Croatia, she's actually Croatian. You know what I mean? So, so wow. she. Wow. So you actually honestly, saw her now. Another dream, and then you literally saw that girl. 
it, not her directly, but it's the beginning of her name, the letter. Lesek, uh, and from the same and from the same tribe. Same wow. Kind, yes, exactly. exactly wow. Like wow. Exactly. Wow. <laughs> so it's it was like really it's but I saw exactly the same dream and I actually thought maybe I'm having this oscillations. Uh, hus, I don't know how to say this. Hustlations, uh, hustlations. I don't know how to pronounce this. I, I feel like uh, I'm, uh, I'm. I can understand CP now because some words are really hard for us to uh, say it. Um, hallucinations. So um, and you know because I had a, and I was still Muslim um, when I saw that the same dream again. And I actually shared this like dream with her, and she was also shocked. So, uh, you know, we were just carrying on living and she's a very strong, uh, very um, uh, faithful Christian. Uh, she attends to, to uh, churches every Sunday. And once she said to me, you know, she's always going alone. She feels sad. Uh, why can't I go with her? I said, look, I'm not really like, like really Mujahideen uh, Muslim. So <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's also God's house. I can come and accompany you. And every time I went to church, I always say, Bismillah, Rahman, Rahman, Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah. You know what I mean? So it's just. <laughs> <laughs> so she was, she was praying next to me, and I was keep praying inside me. I say, like, uh, Astaghfirullah, Tobe, Astaghfirullah. I was keep saying it. <laughs> <laughs> Once I remember, I, I keep saying it, Tobe, Astaghfirullah. And she looked at me and she said, Can you be quiet so I can, you know, concentrate what's priest saying? And I, was, I actually was praying to God to close my ears so I don't hear what Priya is saying. You know how, how brainwashed I was? Oh, yes, for sure. No, you yeah. were following what you, you, you were born into and all. So I can understand that because yeah, a lot of... Can. Because we were told... <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> we were told the same thing, right? So we go yeah. and we, we, so we, we keep <laughs> exactly. on reciting these kind of things uh, when we hear these uh, uh, blasphemous words, uh, uh, supposedly, exactly. <laughs> from the Christians and the Jews. Exactly. And they are who, who they are uh, representing, obviously, Shaitan. So, Shaitan, please help me. Uh, like, uh, sorry, the God, please help me uh, away from Shaitan. So, we will keep saying this kind of duas. And uh, yeah, and then, you know, I carried on uh, going to church with her. And at, at some point I start, I stopped saying Tawbe Astaghfirullah, Bismillah, you know what I mean? So I actually stopped it. And maybe that's why I became Christian. I don't know. <laughs> it's just, uh, uh, you know, it was, it's, it's funny because now I see myself where I am and at back that back that back that time, it's it's a very like a uh, funny story for me, and yeah, and you know I was going to church with her, and uh, when the corona uh, started, uh, obviously our company is closed, so we've been told to work from home, and after uh, like I think it was March two thousand twenty. Until that time, uh, I was uh, still Muslim. And then I had lots of time to do whatever I want. So I started to think, okay, let me just read Quran a little bit, uh, read some hadiths, you know, the pink ones, and maybe I can, you know, just explain to my wife and uh, why Islam is the true religion. And uh, I mean, I never had any intentions uh, to convert her to Islam because I respected her and I knew she was Christian uh, before even we met. Uh, but obviously, um, I wanted her to be Muslim at that time because, you know, we'll have a family and, you know, she can, I can explain her my book and maybe if she has interest, she can also join and she can also convert to Islam and we can have a better family with, you know, uh, we both have the same religion, obviously, for the kids also. And uh, I was watching some videos. I was actually... So, mm -hmm, before you please. go to videos, before you go yes. to videos, mm -hmm. so as a Muslim, you can marry a Christian. So you, as a Muslim, married yes. a Christian woman. Yes. But 
as a Muslim, you did not try to revert her to Islam, Bro, but rather uh, you let it go. By as the is. way, by the way, we, I mean we haven't uh, married yet officially, which we will this uh, this summer. Um, but I call her my wife because uh, I mean I already accepted her as a wife, and but we will get officially married this summer in church, and I will have also very a fantastic story about this church wedding which i would also like to share with you all and i also want to uh, other christian uh, brothers and sisters to uh, listen this especially uh, the priests uh, in churches so um, okay. what was your question brother i'm sorry i forgot no no fair enough uh, so you you married that girl ijabo kabul you did the muslim ijabo kabul you kind of married her but so mm -hmm. now you are living together and mm -hmm. you have and you are not trying to revert her forcefully but you want her to revert and now you had so much time to learn islam exactly and you wanted to guide her to islam that's why you started researching yes so my my main point was just to read learn myself first and then i can just explain to her why my religion is the true religion and as i said i never expected her to convert but obviously it would be good it's like you know okay i don't want money from you but if you put it in my pocket it would be good so this was my intention so and uh, that's why i started to learn islam and everything but then there was a problem when you start to learn then you know you're faced with some serious questions like you guys mentioning on the videos every day uh, then i found a christian prince uh, obviously there was uh, other christian apologists uh, like they from america and you know uh, as a middle eastern guy like myself uh, american accent when i hear american accent i say yeah you know they are uh, just against islam and they are anyway they don't like muslims so i had always this uh, negative barrier about american accents christian apologists when they uh, criticize uh, islam the islamophobes uh, they are all islamophobes right <laughs> yeah, yeah ex exactly so you know because we grow up like that until i heard cp so you know he speaks arabic he's an arab guy how can you be uh, arab and christian at the same time exactly now that's a big dilemma right <laughs> exactly this was like okay you know uh, like uh, this guy is one nail ahead because he's an arab he he used he he used the terms exactly that how i grew up you know this islamic word and uh, the way he recites quran i mean he talks about the quran is exactly how my uh, uh, imams used to uh, uh, do it say it and so he took my attention and then i started to watch his videos and then obviously i start to watch uh, the other uh, guys like uh, rob christian like yourself you know and heart and Tash as well uh, it was very like interesting so every time i wanted to attack uh, like i'm using the attack uh, not in a bad way uh, every time i'm trying to uh, defend uh, my wife um, uh, for my religion uh, when I was preparing myself uh, I felt like uh, without even going to her and uh, debate her I, I, f I felt like okay I lost already because what I was reading from Quran it it made me lose her anyway automatically you do you understand what I mean brother exactly I'm, exactly because whatever debate you're going to have the Quran yes. has already destroyed <laughs> your narrative <laughs> to begin with <laughs> exactly so that's why I always say, okay, you are a Muslim, I respect you. I mean, my family also a Muslim. My sister, my brother, is my older brother, he, he, they, they are still Muslim. Uh, I mean, I can understand, but they have no idea about the Quran. So that's why um, none of us, apart from very few, few of uh, Muslims, uh, they don't know the, the, the Quran exactly. And they are debating uh, with uh, people who know Islam and they get busted every day. Like like today, for example, uh, Hamza, I think his name was, he accepts that uh, Muhammad was worshipping the idols. I mean, that's even a very strong reason for you to leave this religion. But he was still de denying. So it's, 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 I was also like that. 
until I opened really my eyes and uh, started to read properly. And then I found some, you know, few things that how I can debate. But every time I go, uh, okay, I, I just, you know, I don't make any sense because Quran is destroying me with ayat and with hadith. Then I started to read Bible, you know, I was going to uh, my wife, gonna be, you know, like, okay, look, Bible says like this, Bible says like that. It's just very typical Muslim, by the way. So, you know, uh, my book is not good, but now I have to pick from your book to make it bad. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's, 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 the, it's, it's something, hey, if this says this, uh, yours says that. So exactly. yours is also bad. So exactly. instead of, so instead of saying hey this is how i defend my book no 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 uh, if yeah. this says this yours also says this but obviously if your girl knew bible she would be giving you answers which she did so oh. and that yeah, yeah she she knows her bible very well so every time i go to her for example uh, this is a very famous uh, like if you want to say something against christianity you have to say uh, two sisters uh, they made their husband uh, their father drunk and uh, they had sex with their father so how can you accept this how can god accept this you know for example i had we had these things always in my head in our head sorry and then i came up with this idea and i said look uh, i think his names were uh, loot uh, because i'm um, yes also, lord yeah yeah, yeah. Exactly. So, um, and, uh, you know, and she said to me, but did you read afterwards? And I said, no. She said, read and come back. You know, like, uh, she was always uh, refuting me uh, because she knows her Bible. But uh, fool me, I didn't even know my Bible. Uh, uh, sorry, I didn't even know my Quran. And uh, yet I was trying to uh, debate her. So, and then, obviously... I start just to... a second, brother. Mm -hmm. I have some yes. dogs manifesting over here. Hold on a bit. Okay. Hey, Redwan, I demolished you last time, and I will demolish you again as many times as you want to, and I will show you the darkness which is in your religion. So stop babbling, and when you can come up live, come up live, or you can get lost from here, or you can keep on listening. So stop manifesting like a dog barking. Please, Brother Roman. Okay, well, I mean, uh, he can listen, and uh, I was also Muslim, uh, just like him, and I was also trying to defend the religion, like him, uh, and look at me now, uh, I lost the religion, but I saved my soul, and Hallelujah. Thank, God, thank God I am the winner uh, after this debate, so uh, I didn't lose it, but I won, uh, praise uh, to Jesus Christ, and uh, so I am completely satisfied and happy with my life. So I advise Muslims, whoever is listening to us now, to leave this darkness and open your eyes, see the light. I saw the light with Jesus Christ. I felt that my father really loves me, not hates me. Because every time I read passage, uh, ayats, verses from Quran, I felt like pressured. I felt like, you know, Allah doesn't like me. Allah hates me. If I do something stupid, Allah will punish me. So oh, yes. I was, so, you know, with this, this religion was based always on under fear. fear. Exactly. Exactly. Yep. With it. On fear. But Christianity is completely different. It's based on love. And I felt this. I mean, if they say I'm not Muslim, I can say Shahada to them to, for them to know I am really Muslim. I am Muslim. I am not. We're not faking here or anything. I, I was Muslim. Yeah, so they, they, well, for them, every ex-Muslim is a fake Muslim, but doesn't matter. Exactly. We all know that they are not, and the things that we are going through is is tremendously hard because of our own family. And the, why can't we show our faces? These these so-called. Exactly. People who ever revert to Islam, they show their faces because there is no punishment. Exactly. There is no apostate law. There is no nothing. But whenever exactly. uh, a Muslim converts out of Muslim, no matter what he becomes, uh, he has to hide himself because exactly. Muhammad says, Man din hu whoever changes the religion, kill, yeah, him. kill him. But at the same time, Allah is going to send you astray. That's what Allah is. And then Allah is going to punish you and put you into hell because Allah said, that my word will come into effect. Allah exactly. said, like, imagine this is this is so derogatory that Allah, you know, 
the word of God is what? The word of God is that he wants to fill heaven. Isn't that so? Yeah. Right? That, that, that uh, uh, God actually should uh, want to fill heaven. Right? Yeah. But the word of Allah is that he wants to fill hell with jinn and mankind together. So if we see Quran chapter number 32, ayah number 13, let me open that now. 32, 13. The word of Allah is that my word will come to pass. I will surely fill hell with jinn and human together. So first Allah leads astray. Then he wants to. Because, why does Allah lead us astray? So that he could fill hell with jinn and mankind together. So that exactly. is why Allah leads astray. So that he could fill his hell. So exactly. what does that make Allah then? I'm sorry. I'm not going to say anything more. But yeah. everyone is intelligent enough to see who Allah is. So yes, brother. Carry exactly. on. Exactly. It's also, it says, um, I think it was Surah Yonas. Uh, uh, hundred. It says that God doesn't uh, give permission for non-Muslims to uh, make iman. Yes. If, if I am not mistaken. He lead, so, yeah, he leads them astray. They are they are not mu'minin. Yep. Surah Yunus. Uh, uh, exactly, 10, brother. So he 10, doesn't. He I doesn't. Think. Yes. Uh, I I think it was hundred. Surah Yunus. Yunus. Uh, hundred. It was. So. Oops. And we lost Umar. <sighs> so basically this verse is saying it is not for any soul to believe not for any soul to believe except Allah's will so unless it's Allah's will any soul will not believe why and he will bring his wrath upon the unmightful so basically Allah does not want them to believe on Allah because Allah leads astray then Allah wants to fill his hell with jinn and mankind together. So you combine all these four verses together and you will see what Allah wants. So <clears throat> he first leads you astray because he wants to fill the hell. And then he he doesn't want all the souls to accept, uh, believe or accept. And then, dude, you can do the math, obviously. And let's hope that our brother Umat can come back again. Uh, there is some uh, problem in his internet. Somehow something happened. So <clears throat> this is the verse that Brother Umar was talking about. Surah Yunus, which is chapter number 10, ayah number 100. So yeah, this is uh, this is what's happening. And you know, you uh, all of you already know about uh, when did Allah created light. Hey, Brother Jose, uh, that's not the topic today, basically, anyway. So I'm going to do that some other day. Uh, but yeah, the, the other guy, Ridwanullah, he was uh, demolished multiple times, but he just keeps on repeating the tantrums again and again. Uh, yeah, get stuck for Allah. Everyone has to say, get stuck for Allah. Take beer, get stuck for Allah. Yep, that's, that's what it is. So yeah, I hope... Um, his internet comes back sometimes. Uh, yep, Takbir get stuck for Allah. So you said get stuck for Allah. Can you please send Takbir? Yes, Takbir <laughs> get stuck for Allah. <laughs> now that's good. Takbir <laughs> and get stuck for Allah. Yeah, that's uh, <clears throat> that's our uh, Nara. You know. <laughs> Anyhow, let me let me see if I can uh, uh, share while we wait for our brother uh, Umut, uh, which actually means hope. Let's see if I can play something for you in the meantime. Uh, let's see. There we go. Let's play some. Islamic dancing, maybe Umat will come back on Islamic dance.
Yes, yes! Awesome! They are in line for dancing, guys. And they are giving money as well. Awesome! Oh, nice hairs. Oh man, this guy is pretty drunk, man. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, 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 cap is gone. And the cap is gone. Man, this is so good. Enjoy. Oh, this guy. Oh, man. This guy is going to do some really good exercise before our brother comes back in. Halal dance. Guys, I hope you are enjoying the halal dance. And that was halal dance guys everyone sorry i think there is some problem with brother umut's internet connection because we just lost him and he is still not back i thought maybe uh, the halal dance will uh, will make him come back but seems like uh, uh, <clears throat> it's still not there but while we are here and we were talking about allah's will so I can I can work with you guys to tell you Allah's will because Allah's will is pretty interesting. So oh and brother Umut is back. I hope this time he is back for good. And adding brother Umut. Hello brother Umut, welcome back. I just played yes, a halal sorry, dance sorry, while you were away. No worries. Uh, <laughs> um Bro, I don't remember where uh, I was off, so... So, yes, uh, you were talking about... Uh, uh, you are now... Uh, you were talking about Surah Yunus, Ayah number 10, that Allah does not want the disbelievers to accept Allah unless He wills, and etc. Mm -hmm. And you were watching CP's video, RC's video, and other, uh, yes. other apologetics videos, and you didn't have the answers, and... Uh, and you were talking about Lot and his issues, and now you read more Bible and you realize the Bible already answers the questions. Exactly. Yes, brother. Exactly, yes, brother. And um, then um, I don't know if you. Uh, Oops. I was, Sorry. I My was bad. actually no, no problem, brother. So I was actually talking about uh, the the priest in in, in uh, my, my wife's country. Uh, I don't know if you guys heard this or. And now, please carry on. Okay, um, because um, when we, uh, like, when I was still Muslim, uh, we decided to get married, obviously, and uh, did you also catch that part uh, that her mom and dad uh, didn't talk to her for one year? No, you oh, just okay. told us now. Okay, so I was talking to myself for at least five minutes or something. <laughs> Okay, bro. So um, when they found out, my wife's uh, mom and dad, when they found out that uh, I, I was Muslim and I, I was uh, from Turkey, obviously they didn't like the, uh, they didn't like this, and uh, they said, "Okay, you know, either us or him," and she chose me. And uh, so she, they didn't talk to her for one year because I was Muslim and you know I was uh, from Turkey. And but I I can understand them why they had a problem because they were very like strong uh, Christians and uh, obviously they had lots of uh, false information also uh, about Turks especially and um, so they didn't talk to my wife for for to my wife gonna be for one year and uh, after one year of time they finally decided to meet me and we met and they really like they really enjoyed and they said you know we did mistake we do apologize you you're such a good boy so we just decided we judged you uh, unfairly so uh, i said it's okay i can understand you and uh, 
it is possible. Uh, but uh, her father said, you know, uh, I mean, my my wife first said to me that she wants to get married in church, and that time I'm still Muslim, and I think this was 2018. Um, and then I said, it's okay for me. It doesn't matter. We can get married in church. Uh, I mean, that's also God's house. And they were also very surprised that I actually accepted to get married uh, in church because for me it doesn't matter because it was the same God. Wow, I'm I'm surprised as well, man. Like yes. you studying from uh, midrasas and uh, all that and exactly. uh, praying, and then you go to church and you are doing tasbih and all, and yes. yet you accepted that. So basically, I think by then. You had already seen a lot of videos and you had issues no, in at, Islam. No, bro. At that what? time, I never even opened the book. Oh, wow. So, yes. Wow. I, that's. I, for me, it's a strange thing, but yeah. Yes. So it, it, my family also found it very strange. But as I said, that dream came to me when I was a young boy. So it still carries on. You know what I mean? So yeah. This must be the reason because God will not come and touch your heart without reason. So we always think maybe that I had a silly dream or this happened for some stupid reason. But we will find out like maybe 10 years later, 20 years later, what does what was it really mean after? So this is what I believe. So I believe that God sent her to me first as a dream when I was a young boy. And then, you know, he actually sent her to me to show me the truth. With, like uh, without knowing so uh, anyway they said okay we are very happy thank you for accepting to get married uh, with our daughter in church uh, however we decided to go to church and just meet with the priest uh, we met with the priest and as soon as he found out that I was Turkish and Muslim uh, he became very strange so he didn't even look at my face he, he wasn't you know honestly <laughs> And you know he was very horrible, to me. and uh, but it was he was an old man, so I was like kind of got offended, and you know I was thinking, look, I accepted as a Muslim, look, uh, you know how good I am as my religion is, but your priest doesn't accept me. You know, it, I was just talking to myself inside, prepared to myself to throw it to her face. And uh, they were obviously speaking in another, another language, so I also don't understand their language. And uh, I found out what he was saying afterwards because she started to cry. And then we left and I saw her, she was crying. I said, what's the problem? What happened? What did he say? Uh, she said that uh, the priest told her uh, we should try to get married in registry office first for one year. And if we still keep the marriage for one year, and if I don't bring another wives on her in this one year, then we can go back to him again, and he can allow us to get married in his church. And as I uh, said... Polygamy. So Islam allows polygamy. Christianity doesn't. So, yeah, I yeah. can see why... I can now see why the pastor was hesitant, but fair enough. Yeah, so, you know, it was, it was very like, uh, I really didn't expect this from him. As I said, he was an old man, maybe he was old school, because you never know uh, what will happen one year later. Maybe I, I like, we, like, you know, when I was Muslim, we, we've been always told, don't say kafir, because yep. he can be Muslim. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So it was like that, you know, I had this in my head. I said, maybe next year I will be Christian and, you know, he will regret this. And this is exactly what happened. I became Christian. <laughs> <laughs> and I went to him again. <laughs> he was also shocked. Poor guy. You know, he thought we are trolling him or something. So, and yeah, and she was crying. I said, it's okay, don't worry. This old guy he doesn't know what he's talking about. You know, I didn't say anything uh, to my wife. You know, I didn't want her to be more sad. Uh, Anyway, then I start to read Quran and everything, just to show her that how good my imams are, how good uh, my prophet and my religion, and this debating, 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 and I left Islam, and then I accepted Christ, and then we went back to the same priest again. Hey, you're too fast on that. You're too fast on that. So I, what I made... Come, <laughs> yeah, okay, I, will, come back. I want to come there again. Don't worry, okay. brother. I, the best part of my life, what happened to me. So with Christ, I want to have a separate, very separate uh, topic. So because I just want to explain this. If any Muslims out there listening, 
And if they get any bad negative behavior from the priest or from the Christian uh, apolog uh, apologists, please do not put it into your heart. Just take it slowly and forgive these people. Try to understand that these people's opinion don't turn your back straight away to Christianity because Jesus Christ was completely different than to this priest what he told me that you know just go it's okay he didn't even look at my face he didn't even shake my hands but I still didn't turn my back to Christianity I accepted afterwards which I will come to that um, so bro, and we went back to the same uh, priest again and I told him that, that I became Christian he started to cry I swear, I mean, I don't want to say I swear because, you know, we used to say as a Muslim, I swear, Allahi. So, uh, as a he, Christian, you cannot swear. So, yes, you are right. Exactly. But it's, it's, it's a tendency that is inbuilt since childhood. So, I can understand. Exactly. Um, exactly. Right. We still have this, so I'm trying to not to say it. Um, so, he, then he started to cry. He's an old man. I said, it's okay, don't worry, I forgive you. But please just uh, ask uh, God to forgive you also because I, I do forgive you. You're a human being, you can make mistakes. Nobody's Jesus Christ, so it's okay. And this guy was really like touched. He said, I want to uh, do your uh, wedding here in, in my church because you, you are a very special person and I will be really honest. And I said to him, you know what, I want you to baptize me with your own hands. And Hallelujah. <laughs> this, this guy is just, I destroyed him. Okay, I couldn't destroy my wife, but at least I destroyed him. So God really showed me because this guy could have been a bad influence on other Muslims who wants to be a Christian. You know what I mean, brother? Yeah. So, and you know, he. I think he understood his lesson and at, then I strangely thought about it. Okay, I want to be baptized from this priest who can be my godmother and my godfather. What about my wife's mom and dad, which they were against me and they didn't talk to their own daughter for one year just because I was Muslim. So it's like I was backfiring to them with the teaching of Christ. Awesome. So you know what I mean, right, brother? Yes, 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 yes. And when I told them I want them to be my godmother and godfather, they were also very like touched and <laughs> they were very emotional. And yeah, so this was the uh, that point, like that part. I also want to explain uh, that, you know, please never judge Jesus Christ with the people that who is representing Christianity, because we all human beings, we can make mistakes. Yes, do not make a human your idol. Make Jesus your exactly. idol. Exactly. Exactly. And exactly. I, I mean idol, not idol. Okay. They are both yes. sound cinnamon. So yeah. I-D-O-L means like, you know, guys, what I mean. Okay. Uh, role model. Yeah. Role model. Role yes. model. Yeah. That's yes. the right word. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> so um, when I uh, obviously left Islam and, you know, uh, obviously I was uh, watching from CP, uh, you know, he wasn't really uh, talking a lot about Christianity because I know his mission, which I completely understand. Then I was uh, watching uh, Brother Sam Shamoon and then Houghton Tash. I start to uh, follow uh, Ridwan, apostate prophet. You know, they are from my country and they are Christian. Uh, I mean, Houghton Tash, not Ridwan. Um, you know, it was like kind of strange for me to uh, follow it. And uh, then I, you know, I was kept uh, searching also Bible myself and and I felt the love. You know, after like uh, this earthquake and you fight, you lost your house and you just have this prefabric houses and after sleeping three nights outside, but suddenly you find uh, like a prefabric house. It's not even your own house, but somewhere you can be inside. I felt like that. I felt like, okay, I had an earthquake for this many years and suddenly I feel like I'm at home, which is the home I never even called or thought that this could be my home. Hallelujah. Yes, brother. And then uh, I carried on, I carried on, and I accepted Jesus Christ. Uh, I mean, really, if I explain 
if I really go into deep, it will take hours and hours. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, brother. Mm -hmm. I, we need to listen some stuff. So mm -hmm. let me rewind you a little. Okay. So you are having discussions with your wife. Yes. What are the most important discussions that you lost, which made you twist and get out of Islam? That's very important to hear. What were the most important fights where you had major issues with Islam? Um, Give us a few. I know there is not there is nothing called last nail in the coffin because if somebody would ask me what is the last nail of the coffin, no, it's not last nail of the coffin. It's just so many nails that you suddenly it's not a single worse decision. There are so many nails that finally you'll say, Okay, I'm out of this hell. But yeah. what are those few very important nails in the coffin? Um, you mean like why I left Islam and I accept hmm. Christ? Forget, uh, not to accept Christ right now. Mm -hmm. For for now, what are the major important verses or hadiths or the issues that made you realize that I have to get out of Islam? Number one, um, I don't know if you still remember, I told you I was still going to church with her even I was Muslim. Yes, yes. When I was sitting with her there, mm -hmm. I thought, okay, why can't I go to mosque with my wife and with my kids? Why do I have to separate from my wife even if she becomes Muslim? She's children of God. I am the children of God. We both children. I mean, she's the child. I'm the child. We're both children of the God. Why do we need to separate when we come to our father? Why can't I come with my kids and with my family to worship God? like Christians do. So this was my first question. Because of the woman rights in Quran, it's completely unacceptable. I didn't accept these verses. Getting married to young kids, seeing mm -hmm. woman as a devil. 65-4, Hadith. Yeah. Exactly. Beating woman. 24. Uh, yes. You know, you know, brother, mm -hmm. and it's, it's like uh, some some of them doing takia with these uh, translations, but in Turkish, thank God, it actually says beat them. So, you know, I can like uh, refute this with my sister and with my brother, and you know, show them as well as a woman. Uh, how can you accept this? So I didn't accept the, the way uh, Islam was looking at women. Like they, they don't even count women as a witness uh, in criminal uh, courts. Yes, yes, yes. So this was like, okay, but why? But why? I don't understand why. What's the reason? Why women are that bad? But you are still giving uh, them uh, as a gift in Jannet. True that. So if they were that bad, why are you proposing them to the mumin in Jannah? So this was like, it's very, like, I didn't I really understand this thing. And uh, the other thing about uh, him not to give permission to non-Muslims to be Muslim, it was also very strange. And also uh, recently Rob did a video about the bee, uh, has a honey in his belly. Uh, this was also very uh, strange. Uh, you know, how can it be uh, honey inside bee's belly, which is, there is a nectar in his belly, so it never had any uh, honey inside it. it. It's maybe small, but it's important, you know, because it doesn't make any sense. So there is no logic that you can see there is a man-made. And also, I had a very big problem with the, the verses. Uh, it says, uh, give chari like give money to, uh, like borrow money to Muhammad. And oh, yes. <laughs> if you give, want private consultation. Exactly. So why? Why do I need to give it for a teacher who is teaching me a religion from God money? That's a, that's a big, big issue in Quran because uh, yeah. if you want private consultation with Muhammad, uh, mm -hmm. Please bring some charity. Uh, this is this is really really problematic because if you are a prophet of a prophet, like imagine you are a prophet, yeah. hey, you be afraid of what is this translation, man? Let me just remove some of the translations and let me just mm -hmm. show. 
the easiest one okay hey you fear present your consultation charity then when you do not and allow if establish prayer and zikr so no 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 this is not the one if you want private consultation with your prophet bring charity yes please carry on brother yes so fine with you no problem brother so it's also um there are some uh, other uh, verses it says that if you uh, borrow money to allah uh, allah will forgive you sins uh, i cannot remember exactly which ayat was that but there is also um ayat about this um, and also about uh, torturing people in quran uh, I think it was Surah Muhammad, uh, Ayat 4, and also uh, Surah Maide, uh, 33-38. Yeah, in, in, incite the believers for jihad and cast terror into their hearts of the unbelievers and etc. So that's Surah Muhammad and etc. And then this yes. is the one, you believe you wish to privately, privately consult the messenger, present before your consultation a charity, like imagine. Exactly. Uh, this is like this is this is a prophet who wants money if he wants to give you a private consultation like imagine here these muslimin says oh bring me up live i will revere you so here they want private consultation for exactly. free but even their prophet wanted money for the private consultation like imagine that man exactly so this is also like didn't make any sense at all if you're the prophet of the god and if you're really gonna bring the word of the god so why do i need to pay you i mean jesus never uh, claimed or asked money from people and he actually willingly went to um uh, i don't know in sumer uh, Sam samaritans in english yes uh, and which uh, you know like some people they were throwing stones and he his disciples uh, you know like he, they wanted to protect him and he said no i came for them so he never asked money he did it willingly because he, he brought the the the, the, the uh, word of the god uh, with him and uh, as a son of god uh, as the same spirit so uh, but he never claimed any money or anything where muhammad asking for money and also the another ayat that i had problem with um stars made for uh shaitan you know to throw oh, shooting shaitan. stars uh, yes. shooting star you're just going too fast i'm trying to pull up the verses this is chapter number three ayah number 151 we shall cast terror into the hearts who disbelieve we shall cast terror into the hearts of disbelief this is sural maida yes uh, chapter number five ayah number 151 and you can also see that uh, in some other verses as well but uh, mm -hmm. 8 12 as well chapter number 8 ayah number 12 let me open that 8 slash 12 i just wanted to show our uh, f followers uh, and uh, it says uh, i will cast terror into the hearts of those who have disbelieved so multiple translations like the female quran abul halim they all are saying that yusuf ali ali insist terror into the heart so yeah so there are so many uh, like uh, like that uh, without a doubt you you are absolutely right and wow 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 <laughs> and also the other one i, I was really laughing a lot uh, surah ahsab uh, 53 53 ahsab 53 let me see Fifty-three. Okay, let's open that one. Oh, that's a big one. All right, uh, let me go to Sahi International so that we can easily read it. Scroll down. So, uh, oh, you believe? Do not enter the house of the Prophet except when you are permitted for a meal, without awaiting its readiness. But when you are invited, then enter. And when you enter. When you have eaten, despair without seeking to remain for conversation. So yeah. eat and go away. Muhammad doesn't have time for you to have a talk because he needs to go to his wife and have ding dong. And so. the best part here is uh, Prophet is shy. Oh yes, Prophet is very, very shy. <laughs> but, Allah <laughs> is not, that. but Allah is not shy. So this was like, okay, uh, I'm shy, but I cannot tell you, but Allah will tell you instead of me. I mean, is this like, uh, are we talking about 10 years old boy? So, uh, probably. 
this also didn't make any sense at all to me. So, you know, you are a prophet of the God and you are too shy to tell, but you uh, want Allah to uh, tell uh, on behalf of you, but you still bring it the message from Allah and you tell him on behalf of him. So, but he wasn't that shy when he had uh, other things. You know what I mean? Yeah, all the all the women to do ding dong. Any woman who wants to present herself to prophet, she can present exactly. and all that kind of stuff. Exactly. So this also didn't make any sense. And my biggest problem was, um, um, it says in one ayat that uh, non-Muslims will also go to paradise. Uh, oh yes. But on the other, Jews ayat, and Christians and Sabians will go to paradise, but then again, uh, they will not. Exactly. And I think it was Surah Baqarah 62. It says that um, Christians and uh, Jews will also go to uh, heaven. Yes. And those who believe those are Jews and Christians and Sabians, uh, whoever believes in Allah, last day, good deeds, such people will be rewarded in the heaven. Uh, exactly. And But on a Surah Nur and Surah Hud. Hud. Hud is 16. Hud is 11. Uh, um, I have uh, in my head Hud Surah, Hud 16 and uh, or uh, Surah al Tawa is 17. Okay, which verse do you want to go to? 16? Uh, we, we can, whichever you want, brother. I'm just, you know. Yeah, 16 what? 16 what? 16 is the uh, Surah, Al Nahal. Where do you want to go in Surah 16? Uh, no, no, uh, Surah uh, Hud. Okay, Surah Hud Ayah 16. Okay, yes, Fair right. sorry. 11, 16. There you go, brother. Those, the, those are the people whom there is nothing in the hereafter except fire. Nullified will be whatever they work herein and wide what they have been doing. Oops. Exactly. Okay. And also uh, Surah at Tawbah. At Tawbah 17, 17. Ayat 17. 17. Yeah. Okay, Tawbah 17. Uh, let's read Sahih International. It's easy to read. It is not for the polytheist to maintain the mosque of Allah, witnessing against them with disbelief. Those their deeds will become worthless, and in the fire they will enter. Wow. Exactly. So you know, it's uh, it just doesn't make any sense. So are you going to put us in hell, or are you going to put us in heaven? So you are not even sure yourself. How can you be my God? <laughs> good one because uh, apparently he knows everything but he doesn't know because he's always changing his words uh oh wow you know what i wow. mean yes 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 i fully understand man i fully understand allah may know there are so many verses where it says allah may know allah yeah. might know there's so many like that you're absolutely right so you are in a big dilemma at this moment now it seems like it exactly Exactly. So it was like a uh, really bit big uh, problems with this. And I was always confused uh, with Quran, you know, uh, who is talking? He says me, he says him, he says we. So how many, how many are you? <laughs> Muslims always saying that Christians believe in three, but we don't believe in three gods. We believe in one God. Yep. In three, but according to Quran, Allah actually talking about three because He constantly says we. Oh, He says we, He says our, He says might. Exactly. And there are certain verses where Allah changes His mind from I to we very easily. You know, He, yes. he will start with an I and then He will move into we. Let me, let me show you a verse in Quran where He actually does that. Mm -hmm. uh, Okay, check this out. 1693. Quran 1693. Let mm -hmm. me put up this. This is this is very, very good uh, verse where Allah is shifting context from I to V. Uh, uh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, no, 32, 30, 32, 13, 32, 13. So it, within a verse, Allah is going to change his context. Check this yes. out, guys. Uh, there you go. Share my screen. I'm not sharing my screen. That's bad. So, and if we had willed, 
we would have given every soul its guidance but the word from me will come into effect and i will surely feel that so imagine if we had willed we could have given every soul its guidance who is we here when allah is saying the word from me will come into effect i will surely feel the so when so the word from me that i will surely feel the hell with jinn and mankind is from allah only but who are we we willed and we guided every soul so who are we when it comes to we because no matter what you do arabic is very clear in making we as in ruler and me as in mine very easily this is this is this is not even a problem like in arabic that's not even a problem to see the difference between the we and the i or me so once again how can allah just change the context within a single verse it's it's very funny like let alone two or three verses within a verse allah is changing context exactly. okay. yes 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 i can hear you brother uh, another ayat i had problem with uh, as we just spoke about you know is the, allah knows everything uh, surah anfal Uh, 65 and 66 uh, let's see how they write and fall and fall a a n f a l fall yes, okay surah and fall aya number 65 65 okay let's yeah. see the problem here oh people urge the believer to fight battle if they are among you 20 steadfast they will overcome 200 and if there are 100 overcome 1000 those who have disbelieved because they are the people who do not understand la yun kahu and then go to 66 please brother same ayat okay let's go to 66 so first he sent 20 against 200 mm-hmm. and 200 to 1000 and on number 66 on the same ayat and now to- allah has lightened for you exactly. and he knows that among you is weakness So if there are from you 100 steadfast they will overcome 200 <laughs> <laughs> So before 20 was against 200 next i had uh, come in uh, 20 100 against 200 and if allah really wanted them to w- win the war why didn't allah help them Oh man that is just so crazy <laughs> It does really Allah knows everything. Man, that's the dancing of Allah, man. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, sorry, but you know, Muslims should see these things. I was also Muslim. I was also denying. And Christians don't hate you. Christians loves you. Christians trying to save you. Christians are your friends. You are worshiping to wrong God. You are worshiping to devil. Come back to the truth. You should come back to the truth. Open your eyes. Open your heart. Open your brain. Rob Christian, Christian Prince, Hartun Taj, uh, Adam Seeker, so many brothers and sisters. I cannot even tell now. I don't remember all the names in my head. They are trying. They are fighting to show you the truth without any money. Like Prophet Muhammad of yours was asking money for private concert. These people don't even ask money from you. These people put in their life in danger for you. Please open your eyes. Please read these things. Bless your heart, brother Umar. But like, you know what they see? They see what Quran says. Ayah chapter number five, Surah Al Maidah, ayah number fifty-one. Oh, you believe? Do not take Jews and Christians as your allies. So Quran says, do not take Jews and Christian as allies. By the way, when you were a Muslim, you you went against Quran. By the way, you took a Christian as your brother, ally. <laughs> who, who doesn't? Who doesn't? Oh yes, that's a reality as well. Who, whoever lives in uh, Europe, who doesn't? Yeah, Everyone Europe, is. America, Middle East, uh, not exactly. Middle East. Uh, yeah, they they have to because otherwise they can't they can't live there. Or they should go back to their land. Mm-hmm. They should live in Islamic law with Muslims. Why do they need to come to Europe? I sound like racist, but I am not. No, you are absolutely right. I am not American or I am not European. I am also Middle Eastern, just like them. I am also coming from Muslim background, just like them. But please, if you don't. If you follow in your book correctly, so follow it correctly then, and don't have Christians or Jews as a friend. That means don't live in their country. 
Exactly. It's very simple. Because they are they are going against the uh, book then. True that. True that. True that. Lovely. Lovely. That's a good. That's a. That's a great. Uh, you are. You are going to become an. Uh, uh, apologist very soon brother I, I, can, I can see i can see you moving into a uh, umat seeker or umat christian or umat prince very soon or turkish turkish prophet oh turkish prophet oh that's a, that's a good one turkish yeah, prophet exactly because brother we didn't get any uh, like prophet for turks so maybe allah sent me so maybe i will show them how to be prophet oh, brother but, but allah said that he sent a prophet among all nations, man. <laughs> yeah, but did, did he send for Turks? No, like you should ask Allah where where is the Turkish prophet? Because brother, you don't Allah... ask. Here I am. I'm talking to you. <laughs> 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 and also another another very interesting uh, uh, ayat that uh, it was very strange, which I found Jesus Christ. So I found Jesus Christ for a Quran. Uh huh. Wow, wow, that's good. Yes, brother. So in uh, Surah Baqarah says 285, um, Allah, that there is no difference between Allah's messengers. Mm -hmm. 285. Yes, 285. Uh, The messengers have believed in what was revealed to him from his Lord and the believers, all of them have believed in Allah and his angels and his books and his messengers saying we make no distinction between any of his messenger and they say we hear and we obey so what does it say here brother it we says, make no distinction exactly can you go to same same surah 253 253 oh that's a that's a very bad verse okay sorry i'm not <laughs> going to destroy that the messengers some of them we caused to exceed others among them and we were those to whom Allah spoke and he raised some of them in decree and we gave Jesus the son of Mary clear proofs and we supported him with a pure spirit if Allah had willed those succeeding them would have not fought each other after the clear proof had come to them but they so, deferred man so what, what yep, does it, say a, here? Mm-hmm. it says either some it prophets says, are better is, than it, the other. either it says Jesus Christ was not prophet, but the God himself, the son of God. Or if he was really a prophet, like they call it, he wasn't same as them. He wasn't same as Moses. He wasn't same as Abraham. He wasn't same as Muhammad. So he was better than them. It's written in the Quran. So we don't say this. It's written there. Allah says this. Yes or no, brother? Oh, that's that's so true. That's why I said this verse is a very problematic verse and I use it and I proclaim it in multiple different locations when they say uh, we make no distinction. But yeah, this is and we have gave Jesus, the son of Mary, clear proofs, supported him with a pure spirit. You know what it says over here? Baruhul Kudus. Exactly. Baruhul Kudus. But you know what Ruhul Kudus is? Ruhul Kudus is the name of Allah. Al-Quddus, huwa Allahu la ilaha illa huwa al-hayyul qayyum al-malikul Quddus. It is the name of Allah. So when you say Ruhul Quddus, it means the spirit of Allah. So, you know, so uh, Isa was supported by the spirit of Allah. And it says, if Allah had willed, those succeeding him would not have fought with each other. So, yeah, this is this is a very, very problematic verse for for Muslimin. And you will see a lot of tap dancing. Exactly. Uh, when they uh, when they actually explain this, but they shouldn't tap dance. They should let the professionals to do tap dance <laughs> because they look silly, honestly. So when I try to cut donor without knowing how to cut donor, I look stupid. So this is exactly how they look. They look stupid because they cannot even tap dance. They should let the professionals to do dancing. They should just sit and read and learn. As I said, we don't hate Muslims. My family is Muslim. But I will also open their eyes slowly and slowly. And this is why I'm preparing myself. I don't expect you, I don't expect Christian Prince, I don't expect Rob Christian to do all the fights alone. We should all help you. 
we should Amen. all be together. We should do our best to serve in the name of the Jesus and the Father and the Holy Spirit. We should do Amen. this. Hallelujah. And another ayat I had problem with. I have so many, brother. I have already 270 ayats that I have problem with. I'm, I'm doing presentation wow. <laughs> in Turkish. Yes. So I'm a very good student. I mean, I was very bad at the school. Uh, it's very funny. Like when I was at the college, we had the religion lessons as well in Turkey. And we had 15 lessons uh, on first half term. I had uh, out of 15 lessons, uh, I failed on all of them, uh, but one lesson was good, uh, and it was religion, Islam. So when I came back home, uh, I was very like scared, and uh, like my my father, my mom will pick me up, and luckily my granddad was there. And I came home and I gave my notes to my mom. She was obviously upset. How can you fail on fourteen lessons? Uh, which one lesson was good, and this was Islam. And my granddad said, "Don't get angry with him." At least he knows his religion. Be happy for him. So, <laughs> <laughs> but he doesn't know the teacher was actually helping us to fill in the forms, uh, like uh, the papers. So even our religious teacher was corrupt. Wow! Yeah. <laughs> so you know, you know, it's just uh, the another ayat that I had problem with: uh, God and sheep. You know, and uh, not the sheep, like man, the other one. Uh, okay. Uh, the ship, the ship, yeah, which, the ship. which is in the sea. Yep. Yes, correct. So he actually says that uh, he made the uh, ship. The ship. Uh, I think it was uh, Surah Zuhruf 12. So Zuhruf, Surah Zuhruf. Zuhruf 12. Let's go there. Yes. And there's another ayat. It says completely different. And he who created species, all of them, and has made for you ships and animals. So ships, instead of humans making, Allah is making ships and animals, by the way. Allah is Allah made ships and animals, guys. Yes. Uh, so he the made way, the ships. Yeah. He, Allah, Allah made the ships. And Allah made the, he... made the ships and animals. So imagine, uh, this, is, this is problematic, guys. Yes. Animal is a creation of God. Fair enough. Ship isn't. Ship <laughs> is is human invention. FYI, which, it's human which, invention. Which is in Surah Muminin. Muminin, Al Muminin. Muminin okay. Al Muminin. Uh, ayat twenty seven. And look what Muminin. he says. There. Mo Where is Muminin? Al Mo. What happened? Hold on. Let me see what Al Muminin is. Hold on. Uh, sorry, guys. It is Surah number 23. Okay, 23, which way should I go? Uh, the, the, the ayat is uh, 27. 27, all right. Al-Mu'mineen. Okay. So we inspired to him, construct the ship under observation. So it is talking to Moses. And mm -hmm. our inspiration and our command comes and overflown. So now Moses actually made the ship. Exactly. Moses is Allah, man. Moses is Allah. Moses is Allah. If we and, make these two and words brother, together. Believe me, this, this, this translation is also not good. In Arabic version, it's actually saying... Uh, ilayhi to him that exactly. construct a ship. Full stop. Exactly. Do it. We, we, we said it. construct a ship. Yep. Exactly. So did Allah create the ship or did no, uh, Prophet Noah did? Noah made Who the did? ship. Um, so... Noha is Allah. Sorry, I said Moses earlier. Sorry, my bad. So Noha is Allah, basically, according to these two verses. So if we combine 23:27 with 43:12, Noha is Allah. Sorry, guys. Yes, servant girl. My bad. It was me. <laughs> it was a typo from my tongue. Like guys, even even the Christian brothers and sister catches our uh, mistake very fast, man. Exactly. Noha, yes, Noha, 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 Noha. <laughs> Brother, we, you guys need to be very careful because you are talking to an uh, audience who are clever and they are intelligent and they are they know exactly what is the uh, the point they are clever people that's why they found the truth they believe and they worship the true god it's easy i can be islamic uh, apologist right now i can open youtube channel uh, mufti umut 
from Turkey. Allah Akbar, Assalamu Alaikum, brothers and sisters. You know, I can put my hat and I can recite from Quran uh, with lots of hadith, including my own uh, exaggerations and everything. Believe me, none of the Muslims would never understand one single word what I'm saying. If you told, the, if you made this mistake to Muslims, they wouldn't understand, but Christians would because they oh, know. Yes. So that's why you guys yeah. have a very important job, brother. You need to be careful. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> man, like, they all caught me. Like, like, why is Adam saying Moses? Moses never built a ship. <laughs> exactly. So they, they, you need to be, you need to be careful because. Yeah. You know, sorry, guys. <laughs> very sorry. <laughs> Our guys are not like Muslims. They know exactly what they're doing, and they are very intelligent, clever people. That's yes, why they they, that's why Jesus Christ touched their heart. I mean, I was also stupid before. Uh, I also slowly opened my eyes. I'm trying to be intelligent, just like them. Yeah, and, and so. RC just said, you are finished, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Salam al Masih. Now you have to change it. You have to become Salam al Masih. I know. Glory joking. to Jesus. Exactly, exactly, brother. Always. I mean, even Salam alaikum is from uh, Jews anyway. I mean, uh, Jesus yes. Christ was. Shalom. Saying, it comes shalom. from Shalom. Yes. Exactly. It comes shalom from Shalom. Aleichem. Yeah, so. it comes from Shalom. You're absolutely right, brother. They even stole this. Mm hmm. So everything good, they still in. But if you say you sold this from Jews, they say, no, astaghfirullah. Astaghfirullah, but you do it. So there is a, we can see it. I can prove this to you. Like you guys prove into uh, Abdul's when they call you. It's written there, the truth. You can see it, but they deny it. So, you know. Standard narrative. Exactly. All right, brother. Let's go next now. I am so excited to see. <laughs> Uh, what you are showing and what made you come to Christ and these nails are big nails by the way awesome nails thank you thank you for that so um, also uh, Surah Hakka Hak. Hakka it says yes uh, 40 40 mm -hmm. indeed it is the word of a noble messenger this is the word of a Muhammad. So, did, did I understand wrong, or do, do you also understand exactly how I am understanding? No, we are we are understanding how you are understanding. But they will go to say, "Hey, the next verse says differently." And what does it say next verse? Okay. It will say, uh, "And it is not the word of a poet. Little do you believe, nor the word of a soothsayer. Little do you remember." A revelation from the Rabbul Alameen, a revelation from the Lord of the world. So, but still, word of Muhammad or not? It is a word of Muhammad, basically. Otherwise, uh, uh, nobody saw Jibrail. Uh, Muhammad <laughs> said it. Exactly. So, how this is like also, uh, like this also confused me. So, I, I always believe that uh, the Quran is word of Allah. But obviously, in this verse, I see that this is the word of Muhammad. Muhammad. Yep. Nobody denies that. Basically, it's a word of Muhammad, in fact, because uh, nobody saw Jibrail, nobody saw anybody. Exactly. So this is also very strange. And Surah Maida uh, 14. Okay, let's go there. 514. Uh, Allah actually admits that uh, he's doing what Shaitan can do it. Oh, yes. <laughs> So what kind of uh, loving God is this? He's his 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 Rahman or Rahim, and from those who says we are Christians, we took their covenant, but they forgot a portion of which they were reminded, and we caused among them amnesty and hatred until the day of resurrection. By the way, it is the Satan's job to cause amnesty and hatred, as exactly. we see when Satan was thrown away from Jannah. He said, I'm going to go down and cause amnesty and hatred until the day of resurrection. Here, Allah is doing the same thing. And the next one, Ali Imran, 54. Ali Imran. Please check, brother. What does he say there? Again, another... Ali Imran uh, is chapter number 3, 50, I think. No, 54. Three? 54. Okay, 354. Yes. Yeah, 3 is yes. Ali Imran. Okay. Ah, yeah, sorry, brother. And they planned, uh, this is Makar, come on, man. They, they schemed, they planned, they deceived, basically, if you go to the 
Arabic linguistics, it's deceived. So deception of Allah. Wallahu khairul maakareen. Allah is the best of all deceiver. But whatever, schemer. We can exactly. go for Exactly. So imagine this, this. Check this out. This is very interesting. So this is the same word makar. This is the yeah. same word makar. But when they makar, they schemed. But exactly. when Allah makar, they Allah planned. Like this exactly. is. Oh man, let's check. Let's check. False. Some. False let's translation. Just, man, this is this is very very interesting. Hold on. They schemed, but Allah planned. Same Arabic word. Now let's see other translation. I need to see some other translation, man. <laughs> because like this is crazy. So when they did something, it is deception because scheming is deceptive. But when Allah did, it is planning. Okay, Doctor Ghali say they schemed. Allah schemed. Allah is the most charitable schemer. Okay, this guy. Put, they plotted to kill Isa. Obviously, it was about Isa, and Allah planned to so. First word marker is plotted. Next word marker is planning. Awesome. They schemed, but Allah schemed. Okay. They schemed, Allah schemed. Thank you. Somebody actually said it right. Yusuf Ali plotted, and Allah planned too. Yusuf Ali is like awesome. So, guys, this is how they translate these things, man. This is and how they translate. You know, brother, the the, the Arabic word in Makar. this. You know what yeah. does that mean? It's the it's trap. A, yeah, it's, it's like it's, a trap. It's. Uh, so Allah is the best trap. He, uh -huh. He's doing the best traps. Yep. So he is the who, best of best of all trapper, deceiver, exactly. marker, uh, deception. Marker comes from the word marker. Uh, marker is deception. Yeah, de deception trap. Like uh, you know, I, I don't know how to explain, but uh, it's uh, so it's who who would do deception de deception or trap? Devil. Satan. Yeah. Exactly. Shaitan would do it. So is it shaitan? This is the second afterwards. Oh, there are so many, but you can go to Second Peter 22. Uh, let me show you Second Peter 22. And it say of them, the oh, 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 Second Peter, what is showing? Uh, second Peter. Uh, first Peter, First mm -hmm. Peter 222. I think that's the one I wanted to show. And he committed no sin and no deceit was found in him. So can you guys see? Uh, hold on. Let me. First Peter chapter number 2, verse number 22. It says, he committed no sin and no deceit was found in his mouth. So it is talking about Jesus. No deceit, no deception was found in him. Let me open First Peter uh, 2.22. Arabic. Let's see. Let's see. Arabic. Where is Arabic, man? Hold on. Bible Hub. Bible Hub. Arabic. So, Bible by the hub. way, Adam, brother, do you understand why? How I found Jesus? Oh, we are we are so going to love it. We are loving it. I found Jesus through Quran. Oh yes, man. I. Me? You are absolutely right on spot. I wanted to show Arabic of First Peter two twenty two, and I am not able to find how. Hold on, because it uses the word makar over there, and this is why I wanted to show it. Uh, Arabic, brother. Can I can I suggest you uh, one ayat? Yes, brother. Please. That's how I found Jesus. Oh yes, sorry. Forget that. I'll I'll go to you. Please carry okay. on. Uh, Quran uh, 57.3 Okay, 57.3 mm -hmm. This is what we need to show Oh Carry on brother Is it the first one? Yep And is well, it the last Abbalu one? Akhir. Yep Exactly And what does it say on uh, Isaiah 48.12? Isaiah 48.12 Let's open that Please just check this boy uh, 48 12. Uh, listen to Jacob Israel from I have called I am he I am the first and I am the last Avalo Akhir. So can you see it? Mm -hmm. In Quran says he's the first and is the last. In Bible says he is the first and is the light at last. Yes, and in Revelation Jesus said I am the first and the last as well. Exactly. Multiple in Revelation location. 22, 13, you also say, I'm the Alpha and Omega, I'm the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Yes. 
Yes. So, and also, uh, I would like to uh, just one second, please, brother. Nineteen Quran, nineteen forty. Quran, nineteen forty four zero. Yes, four zero. Indeed, it is we who will inherit the earth, whoever is on it, and to us they will be returned. So Allah is the inheritor of the earth. Exactly. And also, please, brother, 1980. So same chapter, I think. 80. Same, yes, 80, please. And we will inherit him what he mentions and he will come to us alone. Exactly. So, inheritor. Allah is the inheritor. By the way, this is one of the names of Allah. Okay, let's go to Mark 12, 6, 7. Okay. Mark 12, 6 and 7. Okay. You are making me type very fast, but I'm trying my so, best. Sorry, my brother. I no worries, no worries. <laughs> he had one left to send a son whom he loved. He sent him last of all, saying, they will respect my son. But the tenant said to the one other, this is the heir. He's the inheritor. Come, let's kill him, and the inheritance will be ours. Exactly. So what is this here? Jesus is the inheritor. Exactly. He is the inheritor. Exactly, brother. So, and John 16, 15. Jesus actually claims that he is heir. And also belongs to him. So then according to Quran, he is the God. Why don't they accept him? So we are going to verse number 17. Uh, John 16, 15. 15. Okay. Yes, brother. All that belongs to the Father is mine. That is why I said the Spirit will receive from me what he will make known to you. Amen. Hallelujah. So the Father and the Son. What else they need? What else they want? It's written in the Quran. I have so many. So many. I can just uh, explain. This, you know, give this, examples. Is, this is so good because it has Father, Son and Spirit all, all in one. All that exactly. belongs to the Father is mine. That is why I said the Spirit will receive from me what he will make known to you. So Father, Son, and the Spirit, all one. John 16, Ayah 15. Exactly. All here. And he also, it's also in Quran, it says that uh, Messiah, Messiah will come. Like Jesus Christ will come, right, brother? It says in the Quran. Yes. And it's also saying in Revelation 22:20. 20, 20, he says, yes, I'm coming soon. Okay, let's open Revelation. Okay, this, this may be like, it could be uh, he's talking to his disciples that he's coming soon. But it could be also that uh, he's talking about he's coming to the world. Okay, Revelation 22, 15. Uh, I don't think this is the one that you wanted to show. 22, 20. 20. Okay. Yes. My bad, sorry, I'm mixing up. I'm no trying problem. to go no as fast as you, I can. Okay, he who testifies to these things says, Yes, I am coming. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Exactly, exactly, exactly brother. And so, you, are a, you are going to be a very great apologist very soon, brother. I no, no, that. no, brother. I, I'm really not intent to be an apologist or something. You know, I'm just, uh, I promise to God. I had a very big problem. As if you remember, I also told you to pray for me. Yes, brother. And, so and that, I also told cp to pray for me and both of you my brothers they you both accepted to pray for me and i really do appreciate once again i had a very like very very like uh, like it was very serious problem and there was no way i can get out of this problem uh, but i was trying to get with minimum damage at least mm -hmm. but I prayed to Lord Jesus Christ. I said, show me your miracle and help me with this situation. And I promise you, I will do everything. I will fully concentrate to work for you to do something to bring these people out from this Islam and lead them to you in my own language. Hallelujah. So God accepted. God gave me the you know, I was planning to get with minimum uh, damage I can, but I, I actually uh, imagine like you give 
five uh, dollars uh, and you say okay i give five dollars but if i get it back at least two dollars that would be good enough you know because i know this guy i gave him five dollars he will never give me five dollars back but at least if i get two dollars thank god i'm happy but you know what's happened suddenly yes suddenly you received five thousand dollars out of nowhere it's just like you know i'm just giving you examples so people can understand uh, what a like a difficult time i had and God gave me amazing, amazing, uh, like I cannot even explain it was perfect. So then I said, okay, God, I promised you, you accepted my prayer. You accepted my brothers, my sisters to pray for me. And you know, you accept it and you showed me the way and I will do within my capacity to do what I can. And that's why I'm writing a presentation in Turkish, uh, which is, is like, why I left Islam Amen. And, Hallelujah. And only Quran based not even Hadith brother I have 270 verses wow. 270 verses wow is I can tell you all of it now so I will I will do this I will publish this in Turkish and I really don't give a F if they kill me if they torture me if they do whatever they want to me I have no problem with that because my soul feels this at that day when i called rope from that day i wake up i had feeling like someone is pushing me you have to call you have to call you know i, I okay i don't want to call i don't want to talk on the live stream you know because you guys are doing a great job but it's like ten thousand people in my head telling me you need to call rope and you need to speak to him and Brother, believe me, all day I was so dis like I was very disturbed. I didn't feel good, but as soon as I called Rob, and I spoke to him and I told him a little bit about my testimony, as soon as I put the phone down, unbelievable! I felt so relaxed. It's like I just woke up from the bed. That's the, the working of the Holy Spirit, brother. Exactly. So this is really like miracles and. People should just believe it. I mean, I, I, why should I hate Muslims? What, shall I hate my mom? Would I hate my sister? Would I hate my brother? Of course not. Why should I hate them? I love them. I don't hate them. But I just want to help them. I want them to open their eyes. They are worshipping to devil. They don't worship the real God. I just feel sorry for them, like you do, like Rob do, like Christian Prince do. That's why you guys killing yourselves every day. And I would like to thank all of you on behalf of other uh, brothers and sisters every day on the live chat. You guys do an amazing job. May God bless you and your ministry as well and your families and help you, your family to see the truth as well, as well as my family. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So, brother, I know if we keep on working with all your 270 verses, exactly. um, it will it will going to take us like nine, ten hours very easily. But obviously, we are going to do uh, multiple live streams with you now. And obviously, <laughs> this is the first time you are delivering your testimony. And I can see that you are going from one point to another and you are moving back and forth. And we all can see this is the first time you are sharing your testimony live. So yes. now, which point uh, you actually accepted Christ and you and how did you felt, you know? Uh, first, brother, after reading the Quran and uh, obviously reading the Bible as well. And I'm still reading, by the way, I'm not, uh, I haven't finished it. I'm still on chapter John, but uh, when I uh, watch videos and I hear some uh, verses, uh, scriptures, so I write them down, so I study on them. Uh, so, uh, love, that's how I can describe. I cut the story short, love, that's it. What else? What else you want me to tell you? I found love. the love. That's it. It's pure dot, without any explanation, without any stories, without anything. Just love. It's like end of the word. You put dot. It's over. It's finished. It's love. God is love. Exactly. God is love. God is love. God is 
light. God is warmness. God is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. That's Hallelujah. it. That's it. That, this is all what we can, I mean, I can say it's, the, what, what else evidence I need to show people? Muslims, if you're listening, don't be stupid. Read the Quran. Read in Arabic. If you're that Muslim, if you think you're Muslim, you're Mujahideen and we are Kafirs, read it first. Learn first Arabic. Let's see if you learn Arabic and you read the Quran first and then come back, learn English. You don't even need to speak Greek. Learn English and read Bible. And let's see what's different. My God before was a hater. But my new God is a lover. He's in love with me. I'm in love with him. That's it. What's the problem? And just because of, because of this, you want to kill me? You want to torture me? You want to kick me out on the street? Do it. Because this is what your God, in brackets, God, ordering you to do it. As you said, brother, why do I need to use fake name? Why do I need to use uh, hide my picture? Just because I left Islam. Why? And why? Because Muhammad said so. Exactly. That's but the but they do, brother, Muhammad can say everything. Muhammad said, uh, after you eat chicken, uh, ask the person next to you, lick your fingers. Do they do this? Yes, they do this. <laughs> they, Muhammad said so. Say, when you eat food, brother, lick your I, finger or get your finger licked by somebody. <laughs> brother, you know, if I, if I ask my cousin who is Muslim, after he eats KFC, if I ask him to give me his fingers so I should lick, you know what he would do to me? <laughs> he, <laughs> he would punch me in the head. He said, you know, are you crazy? Are you, do you have any problem? But Muhammad said it, man. Exactly. <laughs> this is the sunnah of Muhammad, man. <laughs> <laughs> so what, uh, so if, if you want to follow it? Follow it. Just give me your fingers. Let me lick it. If you, if you follow your Muhammad that much. So brother, it's just nonsense. I'm sorry. He put his camel towards Kaaba and he worships Kaaba. He, he does uh, namas. Yes. Uh, towards Kabe, but he puts camel in front of him. And he was praying on uh, top of the camel. And uh, when they ask which direction you're doing, he says, I do, I pray to direction wherever camel goes. Do you know this uh, Adis? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, let me tell you, brother. <laughs> okay, give me that Adis, man. I, 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 this one I did not know, but like, I'm just showing that. that get your fingers licked, uh, lick your fingers, or get somebody to lick them for you. <laughs> My brother, there are plenty, trust me. There are oh, plenty yeah. funny ones. It's just like that. You know, he's actually, uh, wait, uh, just one second. I can How can I share it? Oh, I can tell you. The, uh, yeah, let, let me know. Yeah. On sunnah.com, mm -hmm. uh, Sahih, uh, Sahih Muslims, uh, Sahih Muslim uh, 700B. Oh, just reference. tell me the name. Just tell me the name. Uh, uh, th th tell me some, some sentence. Uh, sentence Ibn Umar reported the uh, but it's mm -hmm. not just say just search for used to pray on his camel used to pray, pray on on his camel yes okay okay the prophet used to pray facing his camel huh facing his camel no okay. this is not uh, yet there is also another hadith pray that says facing. on his camel he mentioned that he used to do that okay used to pray on his camel whichever direction oh this is one you want i think whichever direction it took him so <laughs> apostle used to pray on the back of his camel in whichever <laughs> direction it took him oh <laughs> so, <laughs> so he was 700 so brother why do we uh, why does my brother uh, face in uh, mecca when he does praying he should yeah, also go on top of my aunt and wherever my aunt goes, he should carry on praying. What's the problem? Wherever who goes, sorry? If my brother mm -hmm. wants to pray, mm -hmm. he should also go on top of my aunt. Aunt. <laughs> and wherever my aunt goes, he should carry on uh, praying. But if she goes to the kitchen, he goes with her, he prays. He go she goes to the toilet, he goes with her. But is this, is this like uh, normal? Uh, probably because they had so much donkey meat. Donkey, uh, D-O-N-K-E-Y, donkey meat. Yeah, let's see. Uh, everyone was eating donkeys. They were all do donkey. They were all eating donkey meat. You know, 
prophet forbade donkey meat later but on the day of khaibar allah's apostle forbade eating the donkey meat and mm-hmm. allowed eating the horse meat so they were not eating horse meat but they were eating donkey meat so they were all donkey meat eater man exactly. <laughs> donkey meat eater. <laughs> brother you know one day one day i made joke to my brother he's older than me he's seven uh-huh. years older than me he said he came he said hi i said hi camel and then he starts to say, what you mean camel i said you're a camel he said why i said yeah because prophet muhammad said so he said people <laughs> are just like camels out of 100 one can hardly find a single camel suitable to write so let's say if there are 100 muslims there is 99 of them like a camel but only one camel is out of them good it's also sahih al bukhari al bukhari 649 yeah, sure you, you show it right brother yeah yeah so so people are like camels yeah, people I, are like camel, women are like dogs. Like, it's just crazy, man. This this Muhammad had so many issues with animals, man. <laughs> exactly. Am I, am I your camel or am I your son? Am I your uh, children or am I your animal? Okay, animals also, we respect animals. We love animals. In fact, some animals are even better than human beings. But come on, why are you insulting me? I... I because he also ate donkey and uh, Rob Christian said that because yeah, he he was eating donkey meat I have I have some hadith somewhere where Muhammad was eating donkey meat as well. So yes, Rob Christian. He was <laughs> <laughs> yeah, It's I mean, it just it, I'm sorry, but uh, I'm I am a clever person. I I believe I see this. It's very simple. Everything is there. What else we need? So if they even read the hadith, forget about the Quran, you know, the problem ones, the problem ayats. If they read the Quran, it's even a total disaster. I'm sorry. Yes, Christ is king. Yes, he forbade eating camel at the time of Khaybar, not before. So, yes, he did. Yes. So, Mu'min yeah. is drunk. He's reciting the Quran, drunk. And Muslim says to me, my brother says to me, don't drink. But why? Do you know this hadith, brother? Yes, he was he was f- drinking for three days, three nights straight. Uh, it is in Sahih Bukhari. You won't find it in uh, sunnah.com. But no, no, uh, there is, there is, there is. Okay, uh, there is one over here. Okay, uh, please show me. Uh, 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 say something. Uh, type. Uh, uh, let me type. So just type. So I recited Surah Yusuf to them. He actually, when he recite, he made a mistake. And Muhammad said, you smell of wine. <laughs> oh, no, you're talking about somebody else uh, drinking wine. No, even Muhammad was drinking wine for three days, three nights. Yes, yes, I, I, I heard about that as well. Yeah, it's but... it's there. I'll, I'll, I'll get it to you. And this, they, uh, they use the word, uh, there is another word for that. I forgot in Arabic. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so that that is the one when Allah gave the verse that when you are drunk, do not go near uh, prayer. Uh, so order, do not go. Uh, when the verse of the Quran re- reveal, when you are drunk, do not go near the prayer. You are talking about that particular hadith. So people were Nabida, yes, Nabida. Thank you, Rob Christian. Rob, you kafir, <laughs> you know all that. So yeah, he was drink, drinking Nabida, which is a wine made of dates and some other stuff. For three days, three nights straight, he was drinking. Like what? Yeah. Were he, and they're like, no, it is, uh, it is only uh, uh, a drink, not alcoholic drink. But brother, why would somebody be drinking for three days, three nights, and like, <laughs> I don't brother, know, man. Brother, you know why? The answer is there. It's in the Quran. Uh huh. It's in the Quran that I uh, the answer. Because this is the miracle of Allah. <laughs> exactly. And also, you get good tidings from it. <laughs> exactly. And also in uh, Surah Baqarah 219. Okay, let's go there. Uh, two, uh, two, 219. 219. 219. Yes. Mm-hmm. It's, it's very clear. Yeah. Humar. Humar. Intoxicants. Well, Masir. Okay, let's, let's see that. 
they ask you about wine and gambling say in them is great sin and yeah. benefit for people ha huh, look so zina is haram but boom 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 the woman is enjoyable so like we do like uh, like normal muslims do it's zina brother is haram brother but it's okay come here baby so you have a benefit but it's haram so but the, you take benefit from it as well exactly so it's like zina you know okay what's your name my name is christina hello christina come to the stuff allah you are zina i don't want to do zina you know you are haram to me but you know i would like to have little bit benefit from you if you don't mind you oh little bit benefit let me give you another one 1667 check this out so basically it says and from the fruit of the palm tree and grape grape wine you take intoxicant what is intoxicant yeah. sakaran sakaran means humor means means it's wine. means alcohol wine alcohol and good provision not good provision rizqan hasana rizq what does rizq means rizq means something that you eat rizqan hasana like bread you get rizq. good provision yeah hasana inna fi zalikal ayatil qaum yaakilun indeed this is a sign of allah for for the people man so basically yeah. this is a sign of allah for people that they take uh, grape wines and make intoxicants means wine from it and it's a good provision it's a good risk good eatable thing from allah so no matter how you go wine was good until muhammad sa people are drunk and now they are reciting prayer and they can't even recite prayer and then the ayah came down a uh, the ayah of the quran came down hey when you are drunk do not go near prayer chapter number 4 ayah number 43 this came much later and then exactly. the full forbidding of the sucker or intoxicant came when muhammad muhammad's palate was all destroyed he was dying last year of his uh, his ministry so called that's when it happened when muhammad himself could not uh, and then imagine like this is 590 is very problematic if we read it from 1667 and then we go directly to 590 imagine allah is calling himself satan because exactly. right now allah said that intoxicant is a provision from allah it has good risk it is the sign of allah here it says in these ext intoxicant gambling or stone altar are divining arrow but work of satan exactly. work amal shaitan so basically intoxicant intoxicant al khamar intoxicant is a work of satan but exactly. if we go to previous verse the the satan is exactly. what li zalika li ayat likum so it is a sign for the people from allah so imagine they are left right and center so allah and satan are doing the same thing they are same basically over here if you if you look at it they are same because uh, at one verse allah is saying this is my sign and yes. in the other verse allah is saying it is the work of satan so i'm not saying that your quran is saying that so and, you're absolutely right brother and if you notice brother this is the first time he mentions that he does what shaitan is doing oh yes the first one do you remember this trap yes the trap yep and also uh, the second one was uh, i cannot remember at the moment uh, there was another one you know i told you it's shaitan yes. i are... don't remember exactly which you also explained there are other things yes so uh, so uh, i'm sorry but uh, so it's clear no, there are so there. many he's yes. he's he sends astray and satan exactly. sends astray he's mutakabbir shaitan is mutakabbir exactly. he create fitna Uh, Satan create fitna. Brother, can I, can I ask you something? Satan is your kid. Yes, brother. So you want to talk, right? I want to talk. And be, after you talk, mm -hmm. like before you talk, what mm -hmm. do you do? You pray to God. <clears throat> yes. So devil doesn't uh, interfere you. Yes. So or de devil doesn't uh, interfere you, so you say something wrong. Okay. Okay. Uh, so if God really. wanted uh, muhammad to uh, give the message to people correctly mm -hmm. why did he allow sh sh uh, shaitan to interfere his words oh. would allah do this <coughs> no i'm so tempted to say anything more but i'm not going to please carry on no, no uh, but uh, but you know what i mean brother yeah i know <laughs> So come on. I mean, what else they need? Do you want to show the verse? 
Do you want us to know the verse? Yeah, please, brother. You sure. And there are no prophet before you who would not have said something that would Allah that Satan has put into the tongue of the so twenty one seven. Let's go there. Twenty one seven. Twenty one seven. And we have sent not before you except men whom we reveal. So ask the people of the messenger if you do not know. So basically there are people Allah is saying that <clears throat> Allah is giving the revelation to them. Okay. But you know what happened in the next surah, chapter number 22, ayah number 52. Here Allah is saying he sends revelation. But suddenly Satan is sending revelation. And we did not send before you any messenger or prophet except that when he spoke, Satan threw into it. Uh-oh. Yeah, exactly. You see? That's um, that's I think that's what you wanted to show. <laughs> and brother, do you think Muslims has heart or brain? They have both if they want to use it. Are you sure? Uh, I think so. No, Allah no? says they don't have a brain. Oh, really? Okay, yes. give me the verse, man. Surah Muhammad 24. Okay, Muhammad. Muhammad I 24. They have a, they, I hope they have good translation. Otherwise, Rob brother can explain. Uh, in Arabic properly. Afala you tabirun al Quran Um upon Kalubi in the hearts locked. They do not reflect upon Quran or are they locked upon their hearts? So there are locks on their hearts because they cannot so their kalubs their kalubs, their hearts are tied. They Allah has like Brother, encapsulated it, their hearts. It says they cannot read and think in Arabic. They can read and think uh, they can read but they cannot think sorry it says in arabic version the translation is completely they play with it yeah the allah is like their hearts is kalub is heart so their heart is sealed so That's do how they think do they think with their heart or do they think with their brain this is my question i have no idea man uh that's what allah is saying so i <laughs> like now now allah lost me basically yeah and it, it it's just there is no brain absolutely there is no brain it's just all about heart heart they to, they're talking about hearts only so that's why muslims needs to when you speak to muslim please don't tell him be honest don't do top dancing don't tell him open your brain because according to islam they have only heart which works for boy way do you understand what i mean brother yes Subhanallah, Allah made them so perfectly, they don't need brain, they have two fo the two functions in one organ. So so that's why that's why Muhammad said Subhanallah he mukarribul kuloob, yeah, a exactly. turner of the hearts. Exactly. <laughs> Allah <Allahu> Akbar. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's crazy, man. That's crazy. So they think with their hearts, they 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 think with their hearts, they understand with their hearts. Because they are not supposed to use their brain because they do not reflect. They do they, not reflect. They exactly. need to use their hearts only. Th there is also another ayat about this mm -hmm. heart. There is mm -hmm. another ayat I would like to uh, share with you. Yes, brother. Uh, but we really need uh, like to uh, to find the correct translation for this. Okay. Uh, Surah Araf, uh, one hundred seventy-nine. Araf. Uh, Araf. Araf. Surah Araf. A R A R A F, I think. Okay, let me find Surah Araf. Hold on, hold on. Seven. Okay, seven. Which? A one seven nine. One seven nine. Okay, well, okay. And we have certainly created for hell. No, this is not the one. They have hearts which they do not understand. They have eyes which they do not see. They Did have the ears. Which, yeah, their hearts they do not understand. Not okay. the brain, but the hearts they do not understand. So Allah is using heart for understanding. La hum kolubuna la yun Okay, so exactly. they have heart they do not understand. So do you <laughs> understand through your heart or through your brain? Man, this is Allah, man. Yeah, brother, this is Allah, but uh, you know, it's. Uh, I mean, come on, if it's doctor is doctor, how can I call doctor uh, kebab man? The doctor man, is doctor. Man, if. If according to Allah, women can have sperms, then 
dude, this can happen as well. They can think from their hearts instead of brains, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's Allah, man. Allah's logic. You cannot encapsulate Brother, Allah's logic. You know, you know what I do, joke? I'm mm -hmm. sorry if uh, any sisters listen to me. Please close your ears. I do sometimes jokes, you know, with my Muslim friends. I say, Allah didn't give, Allah gave you brain. Allah gave you heart and Allah gave you brain, but not upstairs, downstairs. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? So I, I don't want to. <laughs> A Muslim's brain working down there, not up there. You know what I mean, brother? That's why he gives 72 huris, virgin girls with nice boobs. So uh, unfortunately, the brain is down there, not up there. So I wish. That's why I brought my brain from down to upstairs. So that's how I think now. So I think with my upstairs brain, not downstairs. That's why when I look at woman, I don't see her as an object. When I see a woman, I don't feel, I don't want to just straight away her. You know what I mean, brother? So that's yeah, that's what Muhammad changed. did. He, he went out, he saw a woman and he's like, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, I can't control. He came back in, his uh, wife was staining the leather. He took her inside and he did the yeah. boom, boom. And then he's like, ah, oh, women are devil. Yeah, <laughs> women so are brother, devil. Yeah, women are devil. That's what he said. Like, yeah, exactly. not me, it's what, about, what about his mom? Uh, she was, di she died long before. Uh, yeah, yeah. So her mom, uh, but no, he, look, this, uh, uh, Rob told Hamza today about uh, his sister and his mom and Hamza got offended suddenly. But why? Because, Rob is talking what Mohammed was said to him and to True his that. sister. So that. I'm sorry, then if you tell me my mom is a devil, if Mohammed calls my mother devil or my sister devil, even though my mom and my sister is brainwashed and still believe in this person or whatever he is, he cannot call my mom devil. And just because he's calling my mother devil, I will not get upset with Muslims. I will get upset with Muhammad directly. So this is also the difference between us and them. Well, they have to open their brains yet before they do that. But not brain, brother, please. They oh, heart, the brain, sorry. Oh, oh, yeah. The brain is downstairs at the moment. Okay. Heart, they have to open their hearts. <laughs> brother, where I live in Europe, you know where I live. Yeah. When my wife goes to normal market, where Christians are, the area, I really talk from my heart. I'm, I mm -hmm. tell the truth. I have no single doubt. I know she will go and she will come back without any problem. I don't even think about it. But when she goes to Turkish market, where all the Turks and Arabs there, mm -hmm. brother, I have, I don't feel comfortable because every time she goes and she comes, she says someone insulted me. Now come on. You are Muslim. You're supposed to be a good man. You're supposed to be this. You're supposed to be that. You're supposed to follow your prophet. Uh, but now I understand. They do actually follow their prophet. What's the problem with you? You know what I mean? So, You're absolutely right. They, and let me tell you, when, yeah. when I go out with my wife or my wife goes out, like when we go out, when we are going to a... Atheist market, let me just use that word, like mm -hmm. non muslim in market or like a superstore or anything like that. She can wear whatever she wants to, like literally without a problem. She'll just wear whatever she wants to. But we went, but we went, when we go to halal supermarket or halal superstore, uh, she has to wear something full, you know, she has to wear something yeah. full, yeah. and she has to be very careful and this is the reality of the situation guys and we are talking about the west right now we are talking about the west so because they will look at you from the eyes that will be an x-ray eyes like they, they their eyes will pierce through you and your woman when you go to a halal supermarket but this is the reality man like you can experience it yourself exactly i'm, I'm not saying that go go experience it yourself whoever is in the west Go try going with your girl, uh, woman, girl, wife, or whatever with a maybe not even a mini skirt, a normal skirt, like knees down skirt kind of a thing. Adam, brother, forget about the knees. Even if she goes out with t shirt, hmm. I also. T shirt, yeah. Yes, we, we can see your arms. 
She's or definitely a Kahpa. Well, why yeah. Kahpa? She's wearing T-shirt. Now I realize because I removed my brain from downstairs to upstairs. But unfortunately, most of the Muslims still have brain downstairs. That's why they, uh, you know, Mo Prophet Muhammad. Why didn't he offer Ferrari or Gucci in heaven with nice villa? Uh, with you know, why? Why not? Why it has to be a woman? That's that's what it is, man. Unfortunately. So, brother, now now I need to see the switch. So now yes. I have like a lot of people have already seen the switch in you, but when mm -hmm. you accepted Christ. Yes. I need to know exact moment when you accept Christ because that always gives me shivers in my body as well. How, not how, now we already see the problems and issues. Mm -hmm. The moment when you accepted Christ, what was that moment? Who was with you? And how did you proclaim that moment? Uh, brother, I had, I had, uh, I made decision and I said, okay, uh, it's for me, uh, Jesus is the, uh, true God and uh, he, he is the father and, and the father and uh, the son and uh, the, Kudus, uh, the, the Holy Ghost and uh, so I made my decision but I waited uh, until evening uh, for my wife gonna be to come to home and and, and uh, I wanted to do uh, this uh, like uh, to accept Christ uh, with her because I believe uh, that, as I explained from uh, my story, she came to my dream when I was a young boy, and etc., etc., etc. This cannot be coincidence. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I wanted her to be uh, my witness, and uh, she came, and I was laughing, and she said, "What's wrong with you?" I just, you know, I was laughing. She said, Don't "What's wrong with you?" Yeah, she said, "Don't read too much. You're gonna, you're gonna get crazy soon." I said, "No, it's okay. You know, I'm just reading and." I'm learning, learning, learning. And she said, okay. And suddenly I told her, I said, look, I will be Christian. She said, what? I said, yes, I will be Christian. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> yeah. And she said to me, okay, so what do you want to do now? I said, you know exactly what I need to do now. And she said, yeah, you, you need to accept Christ. I said, yeah, come here. And she came, I sat down. And uh, she was still but, thinking that I'm uh, playing or something. And then I told her, and I already uh, prepared uh, what I need to say uh, in English. Uh, and I'm having uh, big arguments now with Turkish Christianity at the moment. So that's why I didn't. No, no. What did you say? Turkish. What did you say? Don't, don't switch. Don't switch. Please stay. Stay yes. here. Stay sorry, here. Sorry, brother. What did you say? What did you say? Yeah, I said. Uh, I accept Jesus Christ. I had a long text. I don't remember exactly. I said I accept Jesus Christ uh, as my savior. Hallelujah. Uh, yes, yes, but and He is the true God. Uh, in the name of the uh, Father, uh, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, a Spirit. So I accepted Him uh, as my God, and uh, I had I told I repeated this three times, um, and that was it. And as soon as I said it, I was like. Uh, honestly, brother, I was also very emotional at that time. Uh, and then it is an emotional time, brother. It is an emotional time. Uh, yes, hallelujah. People hallelujah. need to feel this. People need to under understand this. That's why I said love. If you ask me, if you give me hundred words, and if you say make one sentence from these hundreds of words, I cannot make one out of. Uh, I can make one out of ninety nine. It's just love. That's it. You don't need ninety nine. No, no. Throw so them what, into the bin. What did your wife say? What did your wife say? Brother, she was really excited. She was really happy. And she also started to cry. And she hugged me. And I said, yeah. And I said, uh, you know, I still don't understand how this happened. Before Corona, I was Muslim. After Corona, now I'm Christian. So it's like... Hallelujah. <laughs> I, I checked my uh, mobile phone. There is uh, Ramadan, uh, sorry, Juma Mubarak messages. We were actually in Dubai and uh, I have uh, pictures uh, from uh, this uh, mosque which I visited and everything. And you know, uh, straight away what I did, uh, I deleted some of them. <laughs> and I had picture actually with praying. Uh, I also deleted this. Uh, I was just a fool, but we are really like, uh, we were very happy and my wife was also very happy and we told born her Born in from Christ, me. man. You are reborn exactly. in Christ. You are reborn in Christ. Exactly. Brother, that, that is just so awesome.
that is just so awesome and and thank you brother and like person coming to christ the exact moment and brother i tell you something always move me i didn't sit on my wife's lap <laughs> okay i just remembered <laughs> that's good this, because she said are you going to accept it i said yes i said okay and then i just said it uh, i could have also take this advantage and sit on my wife's lap <laughs> is it there is it there Sorry. is it there like <laughs> no it's not there <laughs> <laughs> That's what Muhammad did, man. Come on, yeah, you're yeah. destroying the moment, man. Brother, I was following Don't destroy my the ex, moment. <laughs> my ex prophet. <laughs> Don't destroy the moment, man. <laughs> you know when I talk about Muhammad with my Muslim friends, I say my ex, and this who is your ex? <laughs> <laughs> Good. Okay, so yeah, so guy, let 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 let's ask the guys if they have any question for you because like yes. they are almost okay. 120 people watching, and they were like on and off. So guys, before we close. Anybody has any specific question that he or she would like to ask our brother Umut? Um, but uh, he, not the hard ones, please. Daif ones. Da Daif ones, okay. <laughs> okay, guys, only Daif questions, not not Sahi questions, okay? I just said that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, brother, it was it was really awesome, and um, you need to work on your delivery, man. Like you you. You cannot destroy that particular moment, man. But, yeah, but, uh, yeah, that moment is like, you know, whenever I listen to this moment of any brother, like when I accepted Christ, I was like, I was crying. Like I, it's, it's, it is just such an amazing awesome. feeling. Honestly, believe me, brother. That's why I thank God a million times. Yes, I thank hallelujah. God. I thank God that he, I was Muslim and I became Christian. And I know this feeling, but if you're born Christian, you will never understand this feeling. Amen. You, Unless you, you are and, born again. Exactly. So Unless you, you are me, born again. we born, we reborn in actually real life. Amen. People like you and me, but Christians, they born Christian, they born once, but we not, not born Christians. So, so this, this is there is difference. If you are yeah. born in a Christian home, mm -hmm. you are not Christian unless you accept Christ from your heart and from your mind. And this is when yeah. they are reborn as well. But the thing is, because they are in a Christian home, they cannot feel the switch. Yes, and that's, exactly. that's that's the difference. But nobody is born Christian. It's, it's a Muslim concept that they are born exactly. Muslim. You know, you understand me. What I'm, yes, I understand but, what yeah. you're saying. That's why I, I fixed it for our viewers. Thank Otherwise, you. there will be like 20 brother. people who will be saying, hey, nobody is born Christian. So I'm just telling yeah. them, not you. Uh, <laughs> so Rob, brother Rob has a question. Umad, yes, have brother. you kissed the black son? I, uh, to be honest, thank God I didn't even go to Kaaba. So. Oh, okay. So you didn't go to Kaaba. You, you <laughs> kafir. You were never a Muslim, man. You were never a Muslim. <laughs> <laughs> Brother, I didn't have money to go to Kaaba. It's very expensive. Oh, yeah. So thank God that you didn't waste your money, man. <laughs> Brother, 4,000 euro. I, wa I was going to go with my mother. 8,000 euro. Man, that's expensive. Okay, Boo Brun's tube said, mm -hmm. question for Umar. Which foot does he use now use to enter the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> so as a Muslim, you have to use your... <laughs> Brother, I, to be honest, I... Whatever uh, God uh, leads me with the feet, so it's just uh, I leave it to itself. So it just yeah, goes itself. Exactly. Uh, Another question. Another, I never had uh, these specific things. What kind of things did they teach you in Islam school about Christianity and Jews? Okay, this will be a big, big answer, but try to make it short, please, brother. They are dirty. They are that they are nudges. So that's what exactly. Islam says that they are Jews and Christians are nudges. They don't they are, wipe their ass. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, uh, my brothers. And sisters. <laughs> they don't wipe their backside you know, bum. Yes, they 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 don't they don't wipe their backside. So they are dirty people, brother. Believe me. At that time, I had a Muslim friends, and I was also Muslim myself, and I had a Christian friends. Christian guy was taking shower every night. So I used to say, my friend, you're taking shower every night, you're going to have lots of water bill, you know. Mm. Then I realized Mohammed wasn't actually telling the truth. This guy is Christian, but he's cleaner than us. We're taking shower every two days to three days. <laughs> I mean, you know, 
Man, man. It's, it's just bullshit. What uh, they are dirty? What Christians are cleaner than Muslims? Sorry, brother. Muhammad was eating with his hand. How can you eat with your hand? And Muhammad was uh, taking a shower in the bada, uh, yeah, exactly. well, which is which has all the dirty clothes and dogs and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, that's a. Jesus uh, that, also said, uh, I cannot remember exactly, they gave him some, and he, when he was eating with his uh, dirty fingers, he said, uh, the, I cannot remember exactly, you probably know better than me, brother. And he said, um, it's not because your uh, your heart should be clean. He said something like that. I'm not, I don't yeah. remember. But like uh, King Jesus said, where are you from? And you are from Turkey. I answered that. Yes. Hillside said, uh, I'm did Turkish, you... uh, but my father is half Kuwait. Uh, he's from half, half, Kuwaiti. half Kuwaiti, yes. Kuwaiti. Hillside said, do you, have you tell your Muslim family? So what are, what is their reaction right now? But you are not in Turkey right now. So their reaction might not be this harsh on you. Brother, I, uh, my sister lives with me. My other uh, sister and uh, my mother, uh, my, sorry, my other brother and my mother, uh, they live in Turkey. We have a WhatsApp group. We talk all together. And I told them there that I don't believe in Muhammad. They shouldn't send me uh, Juma Mubarak pictures anymore. Mm. And they shouldn't send me Ramadan Karim uh, pictures anymore because you know this Muslim society. They every Friday yes. they send each other. Yes, yes. And I, I, I still them. get them. I still yeah, get. Them. I also get it. I say then I say you know like Juma Mubarak to you. I like no, not to me. And I also just ignore them. I don't reply them. So, uh, so right they know, now they are. They know that I left Islam. But they they are not persecuting you because you are not in Turkey. Brother, they cannot prosecute me. Who's going to prosecute me for, apart from Allah? Uh, pro <laughs> <stay apart. laughs> this is this is why it's so bad to say. You know, when you used to these Arabic terms, to use you say Allah. Who shall I be afraid uh, apart from Jesus Christ? Like, Amen. I, tobe, tobe. I even say Tobe, and I, but you know what I mean. Yes, I know, I know. And and this is this is so very common that the first seven, eight months, nine months or even ten months of uh, me being a follower of Christ, I mm. used the word Allah so commonly because as a Muslim, we use mashallah, subhanallah, exactly. like at least 200 times in a day without even exactly. thinking twice. And, and, and it's just so common in build that when you trip, you say subhanallah. And when you when you trip, you say bismillah. You know, exactly. when, when you, you say Astaghfirullah when you see something wrong. So it's just so common in build that it just takes time. And, exactly. you know, that's that's how it is, basically. And uh, now I'm losing all the questions because the questions and the chat are coming so fast. So if no I ignore problem. somebody, please forget it. Uh, forgive me, not forget it. Forgive me. Umad, have you truly believe entering the washroom? Oh, come on, man. Moon good greens. Uh, ask, ask. No problem, brother. Please. <laughs> I don't mind. I can tell everything. Directly. The same. This, this is the same question, basically, in a different way. So, b when you were a Muslim, uh -huh. did you always enter the bathroom with the left foot? And you are a secular kind of a Muslim, not too fo much follower when you grew up. So, probably you might not be doing that, right? Brother, I jumped with boy feet. What's what? Feet? <laughs> what is no, the? <laughs> no, he's he's asking when you were a Muslim. Yes. Yeah, honestly, I don't mind. I never even cared about it. I didn't even know I I have to put uh, my right arm uh, feet first. Honestly, I didn't know. Okay. Okay. Now, CD is asking, this is a very good question. I, I mm -hmm. like this question. How did Umad and his wife celebrate it when Umad decided to be a Christian and both decided to meet each other? So this I would like to know as well, brother. Uh, how did we meet? No, how did you celebrate it when you uh became a Christian? How did you celebrate it with your wife? when you became a follower of Christ? Brother, uh, hug, kiss, that's it. Oh, that's that's your intimate moment. So you didn't go to a restaurant or a church and pray together yeah, and brother, celebrate she, it. She's the one she should invite me. Or I mean, I'm the one who accepted the Christ. So I'm the birthday boy. So Oh, you are the birthday boy. <laughs> <laughs> I was reborn her, so she, she has to <laughs> take the birthday was. But I will make her to listen this uh, live stream tomorrow. Then she probably will take me to... Uh, but she wants to buy me a gift. She asked me if she can buy me something. I said, yeah, please buy me a diamond cross. A diamond cross. Wow. Yes. Come on, man. Cross with diamond. It should be a wooden cross, man. 
<laughs> brother, you know, we are Middle Easterns. We like to show off. So. <laughs> oh, yes. True that. True that. All right. What is the most important verse in the Bible for you, which touched your heart and soul? The first one was uh, Revelation. I cannot remember exactly. I think 31 or 37. And here I am. I am at the door, like knocking the door. Hallelujah. Here I am knocking at the door. Okay. Exactly. This was the number one. And number two is, uh, I, I don't know how to pre uh, say this, Psalm? Psalm? Uh, Psalm or Psalm? I don't know how to Psalm, say Psalm, Psalm, Psalm. Psalm 27 1. 27 1. Okay. Yes. You read it for me, my brother. All right. Let me read and it. I actually will do this tattoo on my right arm. Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. So I, I will do this tattoo to my arm. So I will always carry this with me. And I'm not afraid of anyone. I mean, Hallelujah. We, are not, we are not haters or we are not enemies of Muslims. Like they see us enemy. They see us, you know, like uh, anything they, they say. But we don't see them as an enemy. If I see them as an enemy, shall I also, am I also an enemy of my mom, my sister, my brother? So we are not enemy of them. We just want them to find the true God. That's it. Okay, Rob has a very interesting question. Uh, Rob, brother, please come, uh, make, make it easy. You, for me. you can you can reject, decline to answer this question. You I have answer, all the right. I answer everything, no problem. So, Umar, will you give us Turkey back now that you have left Islam to the Syriac people back? It was our country. <laughs> <laughs> Brother, Rob, if I, if I had chance to take Erdogan's chair, I would give immediately straight away to you back because it belongs to you. I am being honest. I am Turkish, but I am being honest. You need to be honest. It is belongs to Syrian people. We say Suriani. And Suriani people, there are lots of Surianis in uh, Eastern Turkey. And they are very lovely people. So that's it. And the answer is yes. Why not, brother? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. It was occupied by Muslimin and taken over by Muslimin. Then that's a reality. History brother, like tells us whole that. Turkey. Let's be honest. Like whole Turkey. Exactly. So. And I have too many X. Okay, no, that's a... That's a different, that's not even a question. Sorry, monogenies, monogenies. I don't know, some names are very difficult for my accent to pronounce. Urdu accent. Huh? Yeah, it's it's very difficult for me to pronounce. Sorry, sister or brother, whoever you are, I'm so sorry. I cannot comprehend from your name, whether you are sister or brother. Please forgive me for that. Uh, but you like bathrooms a lot. <laughs> That me? was fun. No, not you. The monogenies. The both uh, of the bathroom questions are by because I'm talking uh, at the moment in the person. bathroom, so my <laughs> wife doesn't hear us. <laughs> I'm honestly sitting in the bathroom, but I'm sitting. There. Come on, man. Just not sitting on the thing, but you know what I mean. Uh, on the chair uh, in the bathroom, so she doesn't hear me. You know, brother, because she's sleeping. Yeah, I can understand that. That you have to give this testimony in a bathroom. That's just so. <laughs> Problematic <laughs> while your wife is sleeping, but <laughs> sorry, brother. I, uh, I really didn't think about this, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> but at least we spoke mainly about Islam, so it's okay. I will just it's flash okay. it, I will flash it afterwards, <laughs> and that's it, it's over. So, what a great testimony! Right? <laughs> Amen, hallelujah, hallelujah. Uh, but I say to you, who who hear love your enemies do good to those who hate you bless though and then there is a mix up you pray for those who mistreat you wonderful message amen hallelujah hallelujah how is life of christians in turkey if you remember i told uh, that i am having a big discussions with uh, turkish christians at the moment because they still call jesus isa mm -hmm. And 
actually I need Rob's help. Um, very good question. Thank you very much. Whoever asked this question, King Jesus. Uh, King that Jesus. Was King thank Jesus who asked. Thank that. you. Thank you very much, brother. Um, when I asked uh, a Turkish priest who lives in Turkey, I said, "Why do we say Isa Messiah in Turkey?" but not Yeshua or, you know, like the other names, but why Isa? And he said to me, Isa in Arabic, which I never heard this. That's why I would especially ask uh, Rob if he can help me. Apparently, Isa means in Arabic, Rab saves. Yes, Lord saves, God saves, yes, Yeshua. So, yeah, but is Isa means rap saves in Arabic? No, it means it means uh, camel. Exactly. Yes, I won't even say that. No, I, I know because I uh, listen Rob's show. So this guy, this priest, telling me Isa in Isa means in Arabic, uh, uh, God saves you, uh, and he also said in a uh, Jewish. It says Yeshua, but Yeshua and Isa, it doesn't mean in the same meaning. Correct. So they are uh, making blasphemy. They calling Jesus Christ Isa. And when I told this to a priest in Turkey, the guy directly blocked me from WhatsApp. Yeah, he's supposed to, you know. But yeah, Rob Christian already answered that. I'm not going to... Mm -hmm even say that out loud yes. uh, yeah because of but I, I understand what he what he wrote because i read i watched on his show and you know brother another thing i have problem with turkish uh, christians it's written in bible in Injil, turkish version it says jesus was son of human in some really Oglu. yes in really some Oglu. they translate it as son of human and this wow. yes yes brother if you have any turkish uh, speakers on live chat i don't lie they can check they don't say son of man for example as it's written in the bible they say son of human and that's why in turkey when you invite people to come to christ they say why shall i worship the son of human i am also son of human come worship me instead Wow, so they have a very falsified translation of Bible. Exactly. Unfortunately, brother. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah. So that's why I don't have a very good connection with Turkish Christianity. And even if they believe, if they leave the Turkish Christianity in Turkey, I feel sorry for them because they they don't really live it fully. They corrupted and assimilated by Islam. All right, you're right. So one last question before we let you go because seems yes, like you are here for over two hours yeah but it was such a nice time that i just Thank do not want much. the live stream to end today like it's just <laughs> like after two hours i'm literally very tired but today i'm not tired i'm just enjoying it and <laughs> but <clears throat> praise god thank you thank you Marvel. hallelujah hallelujah uh so now that you are a christian mm -hmm. i have a question that i read previously but i'm going to ask it on behalf of whatever person asked okay have you finally tasted bacon? <laughs> Brother, I... Uh, <laughs> you do realize you are not a true Christian unless you have tasted bacon. <laughs> Brother, is it also okay sausage, like acceptable? <laughs> yeah, if it is pork sausage, then it's acceptable. It is, we went to uh, a market uh, where, where my wife's coming from. Mm -hmm. Apparently, they have a very famous sausages. So for Easter, I said, okay, I will uh, just eat pork on Easter day and you know that's it so I make it official we awesome to, hallelujah yes. so finally you are really out of Islam on unless Easter, you right? have eaten pork you are not out of Islam <laughs> you know what? This, this sausage was very spicy and I couldn't even finish it so I just ate for the sake of like uh, leaving out from Islam I ate some little bit and then I said okay that's enough but uh, I will eat this you said pork chops Awesome. They awesome. are tasty. So I will eat this one. Awesome. I love that. By the way, there's a guy who said, Mikalukaku. Why do people assume that Christianity Christians eat pork? I'm Christian. I don't eat pork. Dude, you are not you are there's no forcing 
in exactly. eating pork. Please try to comprehend. There is no forcing whether, whether we you should are... eat pork or not eat pork. The it whole thing is, as a, as a Muslim, you are forbidden to eat pork. So in a rebellion exactly. of Muhammad, yeah. as, a, as an ex-Muslim, you are a true ex-Muslim when you yeah. have eaten pork in a rebellion. Exactly. Okay, that's all what we are saying. You, are, you are, there's nothing saying that you have to eat pork to be Christian. Nikuluku, Please do not take can it. I ask, can I ask Nikuluku something? Nikuluku, why do you drink alcohol then? Let's say if you don't drink alcohol, when you leave Islam and when you become a Christian, shouldn't I drink alcohol? Because Islam told me you cannot drink alcohol, for example. But when I became Christian, the first thing I did, or I would do, because I was drinking yeah. anyway before Islam. And when I was Muslim, I was still drinking. What's the problem? Uh, there is a clear uh, ayat. It says the uh, alcohol is good, so why not? So I was drinking, and uh, I was actually I attempted to eat uh, pig as well, like pork, uh, because it's also in the Quran that domus is good to eat. Uh, domus, I say sorry. Uh, the pork, a uh, pig is a uh, good animal to eat. So that's why, as a symbolic. Uh, my Nikuluku friend, uh, we just uh, try to have pork, uh, sausage, sorry, but I didn't really like the sausage. It was too heavy for me. And uh, then I will eat pork, pork chops. Yeah, and that's, once again, it is not required. Like Tony Tutsigaji said, it is not what you put in your mouth that will defile you, but what comes out of your mouth. Exactly. So this is, this is, this is the, the thing. So, you can eat pork, you can eat whatever, it doesn't defile you. Exactly. But what comes out is the one that defiles you. Exactly. So now it does not make any difference to us. And uh, <sighs> once again, it is, it, is not, uh, the, it is not that it is mentioned that you have to eat pork once again. Yeah. You, it, like pork has nothing to do with Christianity, but exactly. as an ex-Muslim, um, I was really, not a true ex-Muslim until I ate bacon in rebellion. So I did eat bacon in rebellion. I did not like bacon too much, but I like the pork chops, uh, uh, which were uh, baked uh, and uh, I don't know, how do you say it? Uh, steamed, f steamed baked pork full rack of chops. Mashallah. I loved it, man. I loved Brother, it, man. It was that, so good. It was so awesome. Double, double, <laughs> double, double. <laughs> I love it, man. It was it was so awesome. I didn't like that that ham kind of a thing. You know the pink uh, round ham kind of a thing that you eat in in, in the burgers. That that's dirty. I don't know how anyone can eat it. But like to I can't. Honest, I, I, I have no idea, brother. I really I didn't try or eat them. But you need to try the 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 rack, the pork rack, the baby baby back <laughs> ribs. You know is so. <laughs> good and so yummy man it's so yummy and it's so tender man you have to try it man you have to try it i i, I will try brother i will really try and uh, i will let you know uh, how was it so we'll you, you you have a slow cooker at home a uh, slow cooker no no we have normal cooker with electric yeah electric cooker that's a slow cooker so there is there is a rack on the on the bottom that you can put and you put some water in there Take the mm -hmm. rack from outside, uh, marinate it, then put it in it in on top of that shell. You know that uh, <laughs> that rack, the silver rack, which is like which takes your stuff a little higher, maybe three inches higher. Put mm -hmm. some water in it, and then put it in for forty minutes, and in under under a pressure, and that steam that will come out that you the water that you put down below, it will tenderize the meat so tender. Then take it out and eat it. It's so awesome you have no idea about it man this Adam, pork I have is awesome brother. let's do channel youtube channel for food cooking oh, eh, okay <laughs> we, we should do that only halal pork cooking man only halal exactly. pork cooking subhanallah so subhanallah muqarrabul kulub man <laughs> we need to be very careful it has to be halal brother oh, i have halal. I, yes. I have tattoo they asked me when i was muslim they say you know you have tattoos it's haram i said no it's halal how can tattoo be halal i said yeah i did it in kuwait <laughs> 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 
<laughs> so the guy said, oh, what do you mean? I said, I did it in a Muslim country. So the, the tattoo ink they use, it's halal. The, actually, the tattoo maker actually said, Bismillah. So what's the problem? And he, <laughs> the, I, brother, I'm telling you the truth. The guy actually believed. Oh, man, crazy. So I, I can give fatwa. I can say halal tattoo if you do in Islam countries. And it's haram. <laughs> So if I if I bring the pig from Turkey or Kuwait, so it's halal pig. So why not? It's halal pork, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Kanzir. Yeah. All right, brother. Yeah. I think uh, we had uh, we had a long long live stream, and it was exactly. awesome. I loved it, and all our Thank viewers you, loved it. Praise be to our Lord Jesus Christ, who Thank brought you. you back to Himself. You were Amen. lost, Amen. just Amen. like I was, and uh, finally we are back. Once again, um, I apologize to all the people whose questions or comments I was not able to highlight or not able to read as of now or not able to highlight. I'm so sorry for that. We can make another stream later if they wish so we can talk more. No problem. Yeah. I'm, I have time. God willing, we will do another stream sometime very soon where we okay. will only work on uh, chit chat with our people because and I see there are a lot of people who are sending a lot of things, but the chat was flipping so fast. I could yeah. only pick up only a few. So that live stream we will do together as we two can make, Muslims. We can make fun of Islam with our experiences. Oh yes. Oh yes. Yeah. That will be fun as well. That will be yeah. fun. And plus we will we will just do it as uh, a question, open question and answer session with everyone. And yeah. we will also invite people in as guests. Uh, so they, they can come and have a little bit of a chat with them. And then we will of show course. them how to make halal pork as well again and i will make the recipe and, live and, and the the halal tattoo halal the, tattoo perfect perfect the perfect. Ma main points of halal tattoo how to get halal tattoo it's uh, 100% awesome. brother sahih <laughs> and rock christian said may allah not give you 72 huris for making me hungry <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah, Chris, I'm sure, Rob, brother, I'm sure you have, uh, like, uh, your wife is equal to 100 women, 100 huris. So, Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah, Hallelujah. Exactly. Lord why, bless you. why not? We are one, as Jesus Christ said, husband and wife, they're in one body. That's Amen. It. They are ahad, 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 exactly. ahad. Exactly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Exactly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, brother Umar. And like I always say in the end, but wait, brother, before you yes, say sir. this, please, please, before please. you say this, I say the last and then you say the last. Yes, brother. And then we finish. I would like to say to Christians who lives in Western, I would like to uh, give a message to Christians in Europe and in America. Please, guys, don't lose your faith in Jesus Christ. Please have respect when you are in the churches. Because I live in Europe country. And when I go to church, I feel sometimes very ashamed. I see people, they drinking coffee in the church. I see people, they are just crossing their legs when they sit. You are sitting in front of your God. Please help others. When you see them, warn them. Please don't lose your faith. Please keep it strong. We will need you. We Middle Eastern ex-Muslims who became Christian, we need to see you as a role model. Christians in Middle East, they really live their religion perfectly. I have full of respect for them. I have a Middle Eastern Christian friend. He goes to church every Sunday with the best suit he has. He goes with shirt, with jacket, with normal, like he's going to wedding. So please, let's have a little bit more. Uh, like uh, I'm not saying anything. I'm not talking about uh, priest. Or, I'm not talking on behalf of priest or anything, but I'm just telling uh, my wishes to them. And... During our conversation, I take everything, uh, what I say about Bible, about Jesus Christ, and I put it into my heart. So Amen. this is in my heart. And, but the, the things we talk about Muhammad and about Islam, about what's written in Quran, I would like to do this, brother, as you know, I'm in the bathroom. Can you hear it? Okay, <laughs> you don't have to do that. Yeah. Okay, so this is done. So uh, the, all that Quran and everything is down the drain. That's what he did. Okay, exactly. FYI. Yes, exactly. So I didn't do anything. So uh, <laughs> it's <laughs> so it's done. This was my testimony. 
Awesome. Praise Lord. Hallelujah. You 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 drain down every satanic darkness through the exactly. drain. And that's exactly. good. And hallelujah. And you are with Jesus. You are in Jesus. And so basically have what you are saying is have more reverence when you are going in front of the Lord. When you're standing in front of the Lord in church, have some more reverence, have some more respect <clears throat> to 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 see what who you are standing in front of, you know, when two or three are together, Jesus is among you. That's what Bible tells you. So if you are standing in front of Jesus, if you are sitting in front of Jesus, as you believe, as the Bible says, because the Bible is the word of God. So what Bible says, it's true. So when Jesus is among you, you need to show more reverence. You need mm -hmm. to show more respect. You, so that's 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 all what he is saying. Don't take it wrong because some people might take it wrong. Hey, we are no. we are not supposed to wear good dresses and etc. And we lost Umut somehow. He will come back. But what he is saying is show more reverence, show more respect. That's all. And because you are in front of Jesus, you are in front of Jesus. And Jesus is Lord. We already know that. We know that. Let the Muslim know that as well, because there is nothing without Jesus. There is nothing without Jesus. Nothing, literally. Nobody can go to the Father without Him. No one. The road to the heaven is narrow, and the only way is through our Lord Jesus Christ. That's the reality. Islam is nothing. When you start reading, you already realize, you already know a lot of things has been shown in this short slash long, depending on what kind of a person you are in this live stream. But once again, let these people know and realize that they are in darkness. That's the message. This is the testimony. And any ex-Muslim here, please contact me on Discord and come up. Any Muslim who wants to have a chat with me, come up, join my Discord, and we can decide a time to go live and we can have a chat. Or you can always catch me whenever you can on my live streams. Welcome back, Umar. Uh, you can catch you, me man. on my live streams as well. Or you can come to my Discord and we can decide a time to go live as well. Not a big deal. So to all the ex-Muslims, welcome to Christ. Welcome to Christ. To all the Muslimin, Learn, read your own scriptures. You will know that it is not from God. For all the Christians, God bless you all. Learn the true word of God and act what Jesus said. Because in the end, if you are just saying Lord, Lord, Lord by your tongue and do not confess it by your heart, he said he will not recognize you at the day of judgment. That's the word of God. So mm -hmm. remember that. Accepting Jesus is not a license to sin. Accepting Jesus is not a license to sin. Whoever keeps on sinning, it is as if he has never been baptized. This is the message of Christ. And Jesus said, <clears throat> once again, he came because he loved us. He came because he loved us. Loved who? Us, all of us, every creation of his. That's why he came. He came and he took upon the sins. And he, the sins was pierced. Exactly what it was told in Genesis. The head of the serpent will be pierced by the seed of a woman. Hallelujah. Praise Lord. Hallelujah. He is the word of the God that came and dwelt among us. Amen. That's true Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be with him. And we, we need him. He does not need us. We need him. And through him, we can have the eternal life. Yeshua Akbarul Azim. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.